for today's mail bag. And uh, uh, unfortunately, DJ can't join us because she is at the dentist. So I'm on my own. And uh, in the past, when we've tried to do this on, I've done it on my own. DJ has an awful lot to catch up on. It gets all disorganized because I'm not very good at it and that kind of thing. Um, so. I've just got one slight thing that I'm going to do a little bit different today to try to make things easier on DJ, and that is uh, everything I open I'm going to put back in the same box, and that way DJ's got a good idea of what came together, what came where, and then she can add it to the log. I think this is going to work. Uh, as far as news goes, um, I think Figs Adopter is coming into town today, but the adoption is not until tomorrow. I think we're going to go out to dinner together at an Indian place, and that's going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to that. And then, as you know, tomorrow, obviously, Figgy is getting adopted, and so is Budgie. So that'll be tomorrow uh, around noon, I think. Uh, noon 1, something like that. So that's the plan. Uh, in other news, I think I mentioned this in last night's close-up, but it probably bears mentioning again. Uh, Gracie's adopter, we were told by On Angel's Wings that Gracie's adopter... Uh, has dropped out, and therefore Gracie is back on the market. So uh, I've said this before a whole bunch of times, and it bears repeating, which is if there's one of these kittens that you really like, um, even if we say that they've already got an approved adopter, until they're gone, you should definitely go ahead and apply for the one that you're interested in anyway. Because it does happen all the time that people drop out. And strangely enough, sometimes it seems like it's the best kittens that have people drop out. Um, you know, it's just, it's just the way things work out. I don't know why. Um, not that any of these kittens are not great. They're all wonderful kittens, of course. Um, what else do I need to cover? Oh, uh, so we've been keeping an eye on Gracie's limp. And I was saying if it wasn't better today, I was going to take her to the vet today. But I haven't made the call to the vet because it does seem like it's noticeably better today. I think she just hurt a little bit. She's already putting weight on it, as you can see. She's, you can tell that she's still limping a little bit. But yesterday, she didn't want to put her weight on it at all. Today, she is a little bit, and I think that means that she's she just probably pulled a little something or sprained a little something. She'll be fine tomorrow. Uh, finally, Finch um, is somewhere, and uh, I also think that Finch has shown great improvement. So I'm really happy about all that. Um, I think I think Finch is is probably nearly completely better. She was eating on her own yesterday. I'm still syringe feeding her when I come in with food because I want to make sure that she's got all the water and food she needs. Uh, you know, I don't, don't want to leave this just to her appetite, but she is eating on her own. She's playing a little bit. Uh, she was playing just a little bit last night and uh, a little bit more, you know, uh, up and around than just sleeping like she was the first couple days. So. I think she's doing pretty well so far. Uh, okay, that's it for news. I am going to jump right into the mail. Um, also, somebody told me that one of these boxes I can't open until DJ's here. I think it's this one with all the stickers, probably. So we just, we're just we not going to get through all this today anyway. This is a lot of stuff. So uh, you guys sent so much stuff, I assume, because Christmas and because you're wonderful people. So um, I'll do what I can. But uh, if DJ's not back by 11, which she should be, she should be back by 11 and ready to join us. But if she's not, then I'm going to cut it off at 11. Um, if she is, then we'll cut it off at noon like we normally would. And uh, that's just so there's not too much for her to catch up on. So, all right, let's jump right in. The first letter right on top happens to have a return address of Mr. A's mom. So I know who this is from. It's from my mom. Um, she's probably really excited to know that uh, Ren went to his uh, adopter yesterday, although that probably won't be in this card since I'm sure she mailed it before that. <laughs> this, is, this is too cute. This is like an old bathing suit. Uh, she's wearing a swimming cap with some pretty flowers on it and looking very grumpy. You can see the swimming pool in the background. That's adorable. Dear Mr. A, I saw Sassy, I think, working out on the treadmill, so I would, so thought I would send her a little word of encouragement. She wrote it to the end and then fell off and walked away. Hope you are seeing results with your diet, too. The holiday is always the worst time to try to lose weight, but we're all behind you and cheering you on in your efforts. It's just not fair that the whole world thinks cats and babies are adorable when they have a little belly. 
then the, the caption for the card says, how many laps is in a cheeseburger again? It says, I love you, Mom. And then my mom, not a lot of people know this, my mom is an artist. Um, she probably would object to me saying too much about that uh, because she's very humble about it. But um, not only is she an excellent artist, she's actually a published artist. Um, not for a very long time now, but she's also uh, sold a lot of her art and I think she does a great job. So she's going to be especially embarrassed that the reason I'm saying all this is she did just a quick sketch of a cat working out in this card that I have to show you guys. Can you see that at the bottom? A little sketch of the cat lifting some dumbbells. <laughs> That's really cute with a little sweatband on. That's adorable, Mom. Thank you so much for sending this. So as for my diet, <coughs> um, uh, in the last week, I have really <laughs> fallen off uh, as far as keeping up on that diet goes, and I'm feeling absolutely horrible today as a result. But, you know, uh, it is the holidays. That's my excuse. And, uh, you know, comes and goes. I will definitely get back on track soon, I hope. We'll see. But I do appreciate that at least my mom is behind me on this. Um, well, the rest of you are sending me cookies and candy. Uh, it's good to know somebody's on my side. All right. This is too cute. Wow, DJ would just flip over this card. It is a Hello Kitty card, and it is the sparkliest thing. And Hello Kitty is wearing little reindeer uh, horns, antlers, which is really cute, too. And then on the inside, it says, Happy wishes for the merriest Christmas ever. Thank you for all that you do. Anna, who is Nico-chan on Discord. Pronunciation guide, Neko-chan. Oh, uh, okay, it says Neko-chan. All right, I'll go with that. Uh, Neko is Japanese word for cat. I did know that. I just don't know how to say it. And then Chan is used for children and pets. Also can mean cute. And I knew that too, but obviously my pronunciation is the part where I'm falling behind. Uh, Alright, there's also a letter here. It says, Merry Merry Christmas. I'm one of many who are grateful you let us come into your home each day. You, all the sweet fosters, and the faculty have taken residence in my heart. Your home, corny jokes, laughter, and love for the precious kittens is a refuge from the things in the world that don't have a no-sads policy. And then it says the following is a private message for just you and DJ, so I am not going to read that out loud to you. I'm going to skim it real quick right now. Wow. So, uh, uh, Neko-chan. Neko-chan? Is that better? I hope. I'm, I'm trying. I'm really trying. Um, thank you so much for sending these, this card. DJ, like I said, is going to absolutely think this is the prettiest thing, and it's definitely going to go on our card wall in the kitchen, um, which DJ maintains by putting up all the cards and uh, neat letters from the previous week. So thank you so much for writing to us, and thank you for sharing your little story with me and DJ. I appreciate that. Um, I obviously can't say too much about it here. But thank you also for mentioning and appreciating our no sads policy. You know, I really do think that's one of the things that sets us apart from uh, pretty much any other animal-based channel on the internet, uh, not just fosters even, but so many of them um, try to exploit your emotions to get you to watch, and it works very well. And, you know, as far as you know, them trying to get the word out about what they're doing, I completely understand what they're doing. I'm not saying that it's wrong for them to do that. But we made a decision early on that that's not the way that we would do things and that we would always avoid um, using that emotional hook if that emotion was sadness. If you, you know, we would never have a story about a, a cat that was in peril, even if that cat was rescued, we don't talk about the, the, the earlier part. So anyway, that's that. Um, here we have, thank you so much, you included a, uh, a gift card for Petco, which is fantastic. Oh, and the front of the card has a, it looks like a flying penguin. I, I didn't even know that they did that. Oh, Puffin, I see. It says, the, it says on the back, it's from the Sierra Club. The compact Atlantic Puffin was born to dive. And so this is apparently uh, Atlantic Puffin in a snowfall. Interesting. I guess I didn't really know they could fly either. Maybe he's not really flying, he's just sort of gliding or something. But anyway, a puffin. 
Mr. A, dear J, Kitten Academy students and faculty, season's greetings. I'm enclosing a small gift to help Kitten Academy keep doing all it can to help the uh, current and incoming classes. Wishing you a wonderful Christmas and a furry, happy, and healthy New Year. Lisa G, Jake, and Scooter. Uh, Lisa G, thank you so much. The card is really cute, and uh, um, thank you so much also for that donation. All of those help us uh, a lot, and we greatly appreciate it. And that absolutely will get used. Um, gifts that are gifts for the kittens and for the kittens' care are the most practical, wonderful things that anybody could send. Um, I, I have been, well, uh, there's something I've been meaning to talk about for a while, and DJ's wanted me to talk about it now for, for a couple weeks, and I haven't quite figured out how to say it, because I don't want anybody to feel like I'm shaming them or telling them they did anything wrong. None of you have done anything wrong. I haven't mentioned this yet. How could you possibly know? But uh, I think that DJ and I are going to be announcing soon a sort of a policy change for the mailbag. And it's not, it's not a big deal. Um, but... I think that we're going to start to put the word out that we would we'd like to strongly discourage people from sending things that are for me and DJ and encourage people that are sending things that are for the cats. And um, we have some good reasons for that, that when, when I'm ready to make the full announcement, I'll get into it. Um, and that's not to say, like, if you find something that you really desperately want for us to have or that you really desperately want to send to us, I understand, you know, and that's fine. It, it is fine. Um, but I think that we're going to try to sort of put the word out that we're trying to de-emphasize, I think, that. So, um, well, we'll get into it later when I'm ready to really talk about how and why, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, so far, uh, I haven't quite figured out how to talk about it, as you can clearly tell from my stuttering through all of that. Um, anyway, here we have a card that's got a polar bear on it. It says, Let It Snow. And it is from Habitat.org, even. And then inside, we have a fantastic donation. I don't know how to say thank you enough for that. Um, and it says, What a magical time of the year. Merry Christmas. Dear Mr. A and DJ, Happy Holidays to you and the kittens, Charlie and Rhonda. Uh, Charlie and Rhonda, that is a, a very generous donation for the kittens, and we greatly appreciate it. And uh, it, it really is so helpful. You know, I don't, I, I do say thank you, I think, quite a bit. I don't, I haven't talked in quite a while about how that money is set aside by us. Um, you know, it doesn't, obviously, it doesn't go to us. It goes to the kittens every time. We keep all that stuff separate. And then we know that when kittens like Finch have to go to the vet in a hurry, we can just take them in and get everything taken care of. And that's where the majority of that stuff goes. So um, there can just there can never be enough because you never know what is going to happen. And it's wonderful that you've all helped us to be so wonderfully prepared for the future of these kittens. And, uh, and it's fantastic. So... So thank you so much um, for that amazing donation. All right. Here we have a card I can tell just from the back by recognizing the art form. This is clearly the art of Mr. Elso Cat or Mr. Elso Cat's owner. I guess I'm not sure which one of them actually does the art. Could be the cat, potentially. Um, let's see what we've got this week here from Mr. Elso Cat. That's a really cool Christmas tree, by the way. I think that is some awesome art. <laughs> There's a quote here from David Mamet, which says, And we must have a pie. Stress cannot exist in the presence of a pie. Well, that is some truth right there. Oh, I see. We've got another visual pun. This is an egg plant. I get it. Aw. This is just a cute picture of a seal. That's a really cool photograph, actually. I don't know how well you can tell um, on the camera there. Oh, I see. Here's the inspiration for that Christmas tree. Although, I don't know. I, I kind of think Mr. Elso Cat's version is cooler. That looks cooler to me. And then finally, we have a card that says, Guess what? That last cool card that I said I'd send, I can't find it. It was a shoebox card, and Granny said, I love Christmas. When else can you eat candy out of your socks? 
She's holding up a knee-high sock and eating candy. <laughs> that sounds cute, though. I was given this card and kept it for it's an old picture. Enjoy. I love the art style of the tree. I put the cards. I put cards up in my kitchen at times and closed. I still have not seen your tree as of 12 8, 17. I bet it's wonderful. Well, you know, uh, Mr. Elsocat, you are not the only one to mention that. I've gotten a lot of tweets and email from people that say are saying, hey, uh, next close-up stream, we want to see your Christmas tree. And that's been going on for at least a week that people have been saying that to me. And somehow, despite the fact that I walk right past it every time I do the close-up stream, I keep forgetting to just turn the camera and point it at the Christmas tree. I don't know what's wrong with my head. Um, I just keep forgetting. I'm not avoiding it. I just I just don't remember at the time I'm doing the close-up stream. So today I'll try. We'll, we'll try to get it on tonight's close-up stream. We'll see about that. Okay. Here we have a card that Chestnut wants to help with. Oh, this is really cute. It's a Christmas tree and it's got three little cats gathered around the Christmas tree. It's beautiful. And inside it's got a uh, Merry Christmas, and then it says, uh, A time of sharing, a time of giving, a time of believing. Merry Christmas. Mr. A and DJ, thank you for taking care of and finding homes for all the mom, cats, and kittens. You both are a blessing to us. God bless. Love, Gwen in Alabama. And then she says, Roll Tide, which I believe is some sort of a reference to the University of Alabama. I'm completely uneducated on these matters, um, but thank you so much, Gwen. That's a really sweet card, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, it's, you know, it, we do what we do because we love to do it, and uh, I think we'd be doing it regardless of anything, but I, I just can't tell you how nice it is to have the encouragement of so many people that, that appreciate what we're doing. It really does make a difference. You know, it doesn't matter how much you love your job. Um, when someone else tells you that you're doing a good job, it makes a difference. It really does. So thank you so much. I, I, I greatly appreciate it. Okay. Next card. We have... Oh, we have little cats hung in stockings. That is so, so cute. And... It says, may the holidays be filled with your favorite things. Kittens, of course. Mr. A, DJ, faculty, and kittens, and mom, cat. Hello, I have been watching since Ivy's League. Have been a huge fan and supporter ever since. I was not sure how to show you how much I appreciate what you do every day. Since I watch Mailbag every week and see all the wonderful and useful gifts you receive, I thought maybe a donation to the Cary Grove Animal Hospital would be of great use. The amount is $100. Please feel free to use for any needs that may arise. Thank you again for all you do. Wishing you a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. Thank you for all you do. Karen, who is Karen Katz on Discord. Karen, thank you so much. That is the sweetest thing. I think that you are the second person to send a donation for us to the Cary Grove Animal Hospital. And if uh, some of you listening don't know, the Cary Grove Animal Hospital is where we get uh, all of the stuff done for all of our foster kittens. Um, they had a, a sort of a partnership with On Angel's Wings uh, when we started out there. I don't think that On Angel's Wings uses them very much anymore because they've started using the mobile vet that comes to On Angel's Wings. They find that to be very convenient. But there's still a good relationship there and they still do get used by On Angel's Wings now and again. But we use them exclusively. Uh, we are completely in love with one of the doctors there, who's Dr. Quinn, actually came to the KA Con. Uh, I don't know if, how many of you got a chance to meet her there, because I didn't even realize she was there until she was leaving. I still feel bad about that. I was trying to keep an eye out for her, and somehow I missed her arrival. But she made sure she came over and said hi when she was leaving. Anyway, uh, hopefully some of you got a little chance to meet Dr. Quinn at the KA Con. Um, she's wonderful. So, uh, at any rate, um, a couple of folks now have sent donations for us straight to the Cary Grove Animal Hospital. And the cool thing about that is that they do put it straight into an account that's especially for us. And uh, then we get a, a discount straight on that. It's, it's a wonderful way to do things. If, if you prefer to do that, 
we greatly endorse this way of doing things. Uh, another bonus is, and I'm, I, I don't, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a tax accountant, all right? Um, but I think that when you donate directly through the Cary Grove Animal Hospital, it counts not as a donation to Kitten Academy, um, even though they put it in an account that's just for us, it still counts as a donation to On Angel's Wings. And the good news is that we have been having all kinds of trouble getting our 501c3 status for Kitten Academy, but On Angel's Wings already has that, which means if you donate directly to the Cary Grove Animal Hospital, you can write that off your taxes as a charitable donation. So you got that going for you, which is nice. Okay, I think, again, I'm not a lawyer. Talk to your tax lawyer. You know, don't trust me on this, um, but, but that's the way I understand it. So I can see that my um, wristwatch is buzzing. I see. Oh, I see. So first off, I've got uh, a couple messages here. One is that uh, one of our uh, Discord people is suggesting that if people want to send things that are for humans, and uh, then maybe what we can do is set a policy of you know opening them, appreciating them, maybe even using them a little, and then adding them to the endowment bags for cats. I'll give it some thought. You know, I don't want anybody that wants to send us something specifically to be like, oh, they just turned around and gave it away. You know, I can understand how that can be offensive, and we do not, we don't want that to happen. Hey, Custard. All right, Custard's getting a little too, too much now. I'm going to have to put him out. Uh, the other thing is that my mom says that she sent the box that has some stuff in it that maybe we want to open today because some of it's for Budgie that's leaving tomorrow. So uh, I'll have to find that box too, but... First, Custard, I know, buddy, I know you're just trying to play, but you got to go pick on somebody your own size now. All right. Okay. Okay, I have no idea what I was just talking about now. Everything is reset because I stood up and sat down. You know, uh, they say that your brains actually work that way, where uh, a lot of the way, the way that you think can be influenced by where you are, and that's why when you, like, if you get up and walk to the kitchen, you forget by the time you get to the kitchen what you were looking for, because you're in a new room, and it sort of resets your brain. That's what they say anyway. I don't, you know, I'm not a neurosurgeon either. There's a lot of things I'm not. Um, all right, here we have a postcard. It says, wishing you a season filled with love, joy, and cheer from our family to yours. Happy holidays. Love, Jenny, Kit, and Misty. Uh, that's really cute. That's super adorable. And here we have a picture of uh, Kit and Misty, I believe. Thank you so much for sending that. Uh, speaking of holiday cards that are sort of holiday cards, uh, DJ has actually created a Kitten Academy holiday card that she wants to send to basically everybody that has ever sent us anything. And uh, I'm really excited for her to do that. I hope she gets around to actually uh, getting those mailing labels done today because we're running out of time. So if you do get a Kitten Academy holiday card and it arrives late, I'm, I'm so sorry for that. I'm just going to apologize in advance if that happens. Okay, here we have a kitten that is playing with an ornament. And it says, a little bit naughty, a little bit nice, but always totally merry. Hope you have a fun Christmas. And this is from Ronalda and Cordell Walker, the Cape Breton cat. It says, Mr. A and DJ and staff of Kitten Academy, we want to wish you a very merry Christmas and a very happy new year. And if possible, give Smokey a nose boop from us. Thanks for all you do, Cordell. Oh, this is Cordell Walker's signature. So Cordell Walker, the cat, actually signed the card. P.S. Please forgive the writing. Well, you don't have to ask for forgiveness, Ronaldo. It's perfectly legible. And let's show everybody Cordell Walker's signatures. This line there at the bottom. I think he helped with the pen a little bit. Very cute. I always think that Cordell Walker, the Cape Breton cat, is the coolest name. I'm still not clear on whether it's Cape Breton or Cape Breton or. I don't, I don't, anyway, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but that's what I do, so we're all cool with that. Let's see, we've got uh, like three more letters left, and then I can start opening packages, and I'll find the one for my mom first, and uh, then we'll go from there. What a beautiful card. On the back, it's got um, 
uh, two horses standing near a fence, and on the fence is a little orange kitten. It's really cute. You probably can't see it because it's a little small, but it's, uh, it's adorable. Oh, well, now you can see the same picture a little bit bigger. Uh, so I guess it was just a preview of what was inside. There we go. And, okay, this says, okay to read on stream, which we like. Says Mr. A and DJ, wishing you the joy of family, the happiness of friends, and the wonder of the holiday season. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a happy and blessed New Year. Who is uh, from IMMTX on the Discord chat? IMMTX and uh, um, I think that is Eileen. I really can't. I alone. I really can't read your real name. IMMTX on Discord. Um, but I can read IMMTX, so you got that going for you. Uh, dear Mr. A and DJ, thank you for everything that you do. I started watching the live stream back in Feb and joined Discord back in June and July. Not only do you help get kittens adopted, but I've found the stream at times educational. Although I've not had a lot of time the past couple of months to go on Discord, I have found that it is a community of great people brought together by one common thread. I hope you and DJ have a great Christmas and a happy and blessed New Year. From IMMTX on Discord. Thank you so much for sending it. This is a beautiful painting of uh, the horses and the cat together. Really cute. Thank you so much for that. Um, the people on Discord really are the best. We've got a lot of lurkers there. You know, we've got... Last time I checked, we were up to about 1,400 people that are part of our Discord server. But I'd be surprised if there's 100 that chat on a regular basis and the rest just sort of watch. You know, there's the channels that are just full of pictures or um, we've got one that's for like food and recipes talk and movies, TV, gaming, you know, stuff like that too. So we kind of cover all the topics. A lot of people just like to sort of watch and chime in very rarely. And uh, it's just fun, uh, regardless. You know, even if you are one of the folks that doesn't talk very often, we love having you there. And uh, it, it's wonderful. So it really is one of the greatest places on the Internet, the, the Discord chat for the Kitten Academy. I just can't believe how you can have 1,400 people in a group, and they all are positive and, and get along. And it's just it's a good place with, with the great people. And uh, that's, that's what I love about it. Everybody there is just wonderful. Uh, I'm buzzing again. Kitten messing with cam, stream cutting out. Oh. Well, if it cuts out and shows the um, technical difficulties screen, that probably means that whatever I was saying has been recorded and will be on the archive for later, I hope. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, all right, moving right along. Uh, here we have a card with a, another polar bear that says Season's Greetings. Different polar bear this time. Very cool. Dear K.A., okay to read on stream. I've watched the stream since Ivy. Your stream has really helped provide me uh, provide non-stressful entertainment as I recover from a major jaw surgery and get ready for a second, hopefully last one. I'm a Patreon, but uh, not... Sorry, um, I'm really trying to translate this. I'm a Patreon. I think it says, but not a chatter at this point. Here is a poem that you can read at your discretion. It may violate the no sads policy to read it on stream, but it definitely shows how K.A. inspires me. Uh, wishing you a holiday season filled with magic and wonder. Merry Christmas, Clark2097 on Twitter. Clark2097, thank you so much. Let me just skim your poem real quick. Uh, that's super, super sweet. Wow, I do think there's some sads in there that we would prefer to avoid, but that's a really sweet poem. Thank you so much. I like your poem quite a bit. And uh, I'm, I'm so glad that we can help you, and I hope that your surgeries are going well. I hope that your second surgery goes just as well as your first or better. So, there we go. All right, last letter for this week. Merry Christmas with a snowman. And, 
Oh, this letter is not for us, actually. I see that now. It says, uh, for Winnie and Gary, Jimmy and Jenny, care of Kitten Academy. We already opened it. We'll read it, and then they'll get a chance to read it again on, uh, on their thing. Oh, I see. This is another one from Cordell Walker. May the Christmas season fill your home with joy, your heart with love, and your life with laughter. Winnie and Gary, Jimmy and Jenny, Cordell Walker, and I enjoy watching y'all every Wednesday. And we hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And then Cordell Walker signed this one, too. Um, so I will get this to Jimmy and Jenny. We've actually got uh, a pile of stuff that we have to give to them the next time that we see them. So I will add this to the pile. Thank you so much for sending that. And uh, it's true. If, if you are listening to me and you are not someone who watches Wednesdays with Winnie and Gary on YouTube, you should fix that. Uh, you should definitely start doing it. Those are... Uh, Wingdings and Garamond are Winnie and Gary, and they are two of the kittens that were adopted by Jimmy and Jenny, who are good friends of ours now and run Kitten Academy whenever we go on vacation, which has happened once so far. Um, so uh, every Wednesday they do their own little live stream, which is Wednesdays with Winnie and Gary, and i got to tell you, it is so much better than anything you will see on the Kitten Academy channel. I'm glad they only do it once a week or we would lose all of our viewers. Um, but as it is, uh, you should definitely tune in there. It is a good time. Now, let's see if I can start by figuring out which one of these packages came from my mom. Okay. Uh, if you're wondering about my back that was hurting the other day, it's still hurting a little bit. Uh, it's just just bad enough to make it so that I, I struggle a little bit getting up and moving around. Not bad enough that I really have to worry about it. So... says that it previously was a muffin shipper hmm. from the Collins Street Bakery. The Collins Street Bakery muffin shipper. Wow. I don't know exactly what all that is, but that sounds pretty cool. And it seems almost unfortunate that this seems to be a recycled box. I could have done with some muffins from the Collins Street Bakery. It says my diet. Aww. There's a little note here from Mom on a post-it note. It says, DJ, love you, miss you. And there's a little heart with an arrow. So DJ's not here, but I see my mom has sent some socks for DJ. <gasps> These are really cute. This one is pink with a basket full of cats on the, the top part. And on the bottom part, it says, I heart cats. And then another one that is ice skating cats got little ice skating cats on it. I don't know how you find these, but those are really cute. I know you guys want to play with that tissue paper that Mom sent, but i got to put everything back where it came from this week so the DJ can see it. What are you doing? What are you doing up here? This one says, Love you, Mr. A from Mom. Of all the people that call me Mr. A, it sounds a little weird coming from my mom. But that's okay. Oh, wow. So here's some socks from Laurel Birch. I love this art style that she does. We've seen so much of her stuff here. Uh, but not socks. So that's really cool. And here we have an absorbent car coaster. Keeps your vehicle's cup holder dry from beverage drips and condensation. I have never heard of a product like that. But it also has a cat on it, which makes it perfect. A little orange tabby, my favorite kind. Um, my mom, by the way, calls this color of cat yellow, which is something I also I've heard from other people that they are yellow. They don't seem yellow to me. They seem orange, but maybe it's, you know, sort of like George Washington's white horse that was gray. I, I don't know how that all works. Um... All right, there's another one here that says DJ, and it is some Laurel Birch socks, and here is an, oh yeah, 
socks that has some sort of stylized cats on it. Those are really cool too. Wow, that's a lot of socks. Thank you so much, Mom. Okay, let me tell you what I've sent my mom for Christmas so far. Nothing. I really need to get on that. I have one present for her in the other room. I just have to mail it. Uh, Okay, so there's a Christmas ornament here that says, If you and Deepa like either or both of these Xmas decorations, I would be delighted. But I would also be just as delighted for French and Ren to take one each to their new home to commemorate their first Christmas in their forever home. Love whatever you do, Mom. Oh, well that's really sweet. Um, we did miss Ren's opportunity already, so maybe it would be Finch and uh, Budgie. These are really beautiful, though. This is gorgeous, and I don't know about putting a glass ornament in with a new kitten. I don't even know if I would put this on our tree. But it is. It's a beautiful little... I see what this is going on here. It's a scene of a fireplace, and the little cat is uh, pointing its butt at the fireplace and looking all warm and happy. I don't know how well you'd be able to make that out, but there's a the little kitty on that side. And here's the fireplace on this side. It's a beautiful hand-painted glass ornament from Pier 1. It's just gorgeous. Um, again, I don't know if I would put it on our tree just because it's glass. We've got all plastic ornaments up right now. And a couple of our cats have uh, already knocked a few down and played with them. In fact, there's a GIF on our Twitter, if you didn't see it, of a fig throwing around one of the Christmas ornaments. It's really cute. But here's another one. Oh, wow. This is really cool, too. It's a little snow globe. <laughs> this is kind of clever. It's a little snow globe where there's two cats that are clearly in love. There's a little girl cat making a cute face at a little boy cat. But the cutest part is that the little girl cat's inside the snow globe and the little boy cat's on the outside looking in at her. That's adorable. I guess it's not a snow globe because it's it's clearly a green scene in there and it's filled with glitter, so it's more like a magic globe maybe? There's little flower pieces in there too that are floating around I see. So cool though, it's Jim Shore, Heartwood Creek. Very cool. Wow. That's really beautiful. I like that a lot. It's whimsical too. I just I love the way that they put the little boy cat on the outside, like he's I don't know, just it's really cute. Well, thank you so much for sending all this stuff, Mom. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, as you know, Ren went to his adopter yesterday, um, Budgie will be going tomorrow, and Finch will be going as soon as she's all well, which uh, I expect to be next weekend is when we'll probably see her go. So that's all three of the Kansas crew, though, adopted, which is great. Okay. All right, one box down and about 100 to go. Take a coffee break here. How are we doing for time? 20 minutes. All right. Well, as I said, if DJ's not here at 11, then uh, we'll put all this off probably till tomorrow, I think. We'll see. Um, because I don't want to just push it till next week. That would be too much. Uh, as far as grabbing packages here, I'm just going to go in order. Here we have a, you know, in order of whatever I reach first, I mean. Uh, here we have a box that is from the UK. All right, this has come a long way to us. And uh, there's my little green knife. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, first off, there's a little note. Oh, 
here's a little uh, Santa Claus with a very sparkly hat. Finch is interested in the contents of this box already. Finch, uh, no, this is Budgie. Uh, DJ Mr. A and all the funny, uh, I'm sorry, DJ Mr. A and all the furry ones in uh, with four legs. Have a great Christmas. Just a few treats to say Merry Christmas. Lots of love. Rob, Katie, and Zelda the cat. Zelda the cat. All right. Thank you so much, Rob, Katie, and Zelda the cat. First off, we have some Webox Licky Lick treats. These are great. I, I know that these are great. The cats love them. We can't get Webox stuff here in the States, but people from the UK have been sending them to us for a while now, and the cats love them. They love these, and they love the, uh, the treat sticks that they make, too. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Here we have a Sock Shop sock that has a cat uh, on the end of it there. Really cool. And then we have two Whiskas Temptations uh, treats. Oh, sorry. One is Temptations. One is the Crunchy Trio. Wow. And those come in little containers that look like cats. Very cool. The sock over here. And then it looks like... All right. We have a... Ooh, a crawling critter. So this is the same technology as a, the Hexbug. It's a, a brush bot, I think they call them, too. Uh, we used to make these, you know, um, it's a sort of an early robotics project. It's just a little vibrating thing that you put on a toothbrush head, usually, if you're making one at home. And then it just moves around like a little bug. So here's one that works on the same principle, but is much, much bigger. And so you can see it's got a little brush on the bottom, so it works just the same way. And it is a Crawling Critter Electronic Motion Exercise Toy. I think the kittens are really going to go nuts for that. I think that's going to be a good one. We also have a Mad Beauty Animasks Face Mask with Rose Water, which is calming on the face for healthy, glowing skin. And a Pumpkin Spice Latte Cream Mask. Whoa! Wow! It's like Spa Day in here. And then finally, uh, well, not quite finally, but um, we have a book that says Be More Cat Life Lessons from Our Feline Friends huh, by Allison Davies. This book reveals the nine different traits that you can take on board to be more cat and live a happier, healthier, all-around feline fabulous existence. With practical tips and exercises interspersed with folklore and fun facts about our kitty gurus, there's something for everyone. So sit back, relax, and learn the art of being cat. Wow. Oh, wow. There is a lot going on in here, too. This looks like a really cute book. Thank you so much. I have never seen this before. I'm excited to, to dig into that. It looks like it's got some cute tips about living life and some cute cats, too. So what could possibly be better? Now, the rest of the box is candy, uh, and it looks like some stuff that we haven't seen before. We've been sent a lot of candies from all over the world at this point in our Kitten Academy career. I would have thought that it would be hard to surprise me with things that I have never seen before, yet here you have. Uh, we have Swizzles Parma Violets. We have a whole bunch of these. Parma Violets, they're like little purple, they look like what we have in the States we call Smarties. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that. I bet it's sort of a similar candy. I'm excited to try it and find out. Uh, we have a, a Nestle Rolo. We have a Kit Kat Chunky. Mm, very chunky. Very Kit Kat. I like anything that's got cat. Um, all right, so the, the Rolo and the Kit Kat are somewhat familiar to me. We also have an Aero Bar, which is delightful peppermint. Familiar with the Aero Bar? I'm not sure I'm familiar with the peppermint version thereof. We have a Toffee Crisp. Now we're into stuff that is <laughs> unfamiliar. Toffee Crisp. A Munchies I have never heard of. Hmm. I've never heard of Munchies, but I, I see on here the Munchies wrapper. It says here that it is part of the Nestle Cocoa Plan. The Nestle Cocoa Plan. I don't know what that plan is, but it sounds like a plan for me. 
Uh, here we have Maltesers Merry Teaser, which seems to be a Christmas branded Malteser. I've, I've had Maltesers, I've not seen their Christmas branding though, which is fun. DJ's a big fan of the, the Maltesers, she likes those a lot. I like them a bit. Here we have Fry's Turkish Delight, which is Turkish Delight wrapped in delicious milk chocolate. I have never had this. But if I remember right, Turkish Delight is sort of a, a like a gummy kind of candy, right? Um, and uh, I'm a big fan of things that are kind of fruity or gummy in chocolate. So this sounds like this would be right up my alley. One of my favorite things ever is if you have uh, what they call bridge mix. At least they call it bridge mix here in the States. Um, if bridge mix is mostly a collection of chocolate covered uh, candies and nuts and things, right? Like there's there's all kinds of nuts and then there's some nougats that are chocolate covered and stuff. But at least in the, the bridge mix that I sometimes get, there's one thing that is like a gummy cherry. Uh, it's not a real cherry. It's just like a gummy cherry thing that's chocolate covered. It's my favorite, my favorite part of the whole bridge mix. So I'm hoping this Turkish Delight kind of hits that same spot. It sounds like it will. And finally, we also have another part of the Nestle Cocoa Plan. It sounds like I am on the Nestle Cocoa Plan. A Yorkie bar, the original Yorkie bar, it says. Um, it says original. I've never heard of the Yorkie bar, so you could fool me. I don't know if it's original or not, but I'm excited to try. I'm excited to try all of this. Thank you so much. Wow, this is some really cool stuff. Um, my leg is falling asleep for some reason, and it's in that like that awkward tingly stage now where it's just uh, really annoying okay thank you this is some great stuff i'm really excited i'm excited about the book the treats are just going to go over great for the kittens uh, i really appreciate all of it you know when we adopt out the kittens we try to include some treats uh, because historically we've had a ton and somehow we've, we've actually gotten kind of low on our treat reserves for giving out. Um, so that's that's great. I think some of those are probably going to end up going in endowment bags. Really wonderful. All right. Um, we're going to do two foreign. Oh, well, it looks like a lot of this stuff is from overseas. All right. This one looks like it's seen some better days. Somebody tore into a corner of this already. Um, and if this is from which country? DHL from Germany. Okay. Of course, DHL from Germany. They're big there. For reasons I can't even imagine. All right. Oh, all right. It starts out with a letter that says, Dear DJ, Dear Chris, Christmas time, contemplative time. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was uh, just my chat buzzed, and it was somebody saying the wrong person from Kid Academy has gone to the dentist. I think that's a reference to meeting all the candy. Uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, also, I didn't notice that this box is covered with cute little Christmas stickers inside and out, and so is this letter that says, "Dear DJ, dear Chris." Christmas time, contemplative time. Take time for yourself. Merry Christmas and a successful and healthy 2018 uh, wishes for you. Christi Christian, Christian, I believe. Maybe Christian uh, from Germany. P.S. Yeah, sorry, the Advent calendar did not arrive on time for December 1st. Oh, goodness, an Advent calendar. I know what that means. Okay, here we have some packing materials. And, oh, wow, this is so cute. This is already adorable. Okay. Oh, wow, what is this? This is dense bread. It says, all right, Brem. I'm, I'm doubly troubled by trying to read this because, first off, it's written in the cursive, which is always a bit of a trick. And then it's also, of course, a foreign language. So I'm doubly troubled. But I believe it says, Bremev Klaben. Bre Bremen, Clabin, and then it says, "Is it a cake? Is it a bread? It is as you wish. Enjoy it, or um, enjoy it, nuve, or just with a good butter and a cup of hot tea." Wow! Ingredients. Oh, they've translated the ingredients for me. That's too sweet. Although I'm not sure they're all 
translated because the first ingredient is translated as sultan, sultaness. That is not an English word. Uh, wheat flour, butter, yeast, water, sugar, white wine, candied peel, almond salt, lemon peel, cardamom, rose water. So it sounds like it's sort of a savory fruit cake. That's how I would describe it. It's, it's heavy, too, like a fruit cake. Like, this thing weighs 10 pounds. Well, maybe not quite that much, but that's, wow, that's very heavy. I'm excited to try it out. That's going to be really cool. Here we have... A reindeer, oh no, sorry, it says, <laughs> I, said, I said, here we have a reindeer, and then right on this, oh my goodness, so first off, right on the antlers of the moose, it says, I am not a reindeer, I am a moose. All right, I'm so sorry, but here's where this gets out of control. This is too much, I can't believe you sent something like this, because if you look at the moose, Gravy, you've got to get out of the way so everybody can see how cool this is. His lower paws say, for Chris and for DJ. And that's embroidered in there. That's amazing. But what's more, they say that and they are, they have zippers and they feel like there's something actually in them. And there it is. I'm not going to pull it all out right now because this is too cool. But inside the paws, there's little candies for Chris and for DJ. That is amazing. I have never seen anything like that. Is this, a, is this a common or at least known thing in Germany? Little stuffed animals with candy pockets that are embroidered with your names? Is this a thing that I just don't know about? Germans are awesome. Completely awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here. So they've thrown in some random candies as sort of packing material, I guess. The little candy cubes and a little bonbon there. But this one stood out because it is a little chocolate heart, and on the chocolate heart is a little man wearing a top hat and carrying a ladder. I have no idea what this is supposed to represent. A little tiny man with a with a sort of a top hat and a, holding what seems like a golden ladder. That seems like it's got to be something. Are you eating little bits of chocolate that fell on the bottom? You're not supposed to eat chocolate. You go somewhere else. Oh wow. This box is full of amazing stuff. Uh, here is above. That's a mysterious thing to say. Oh no! Oh. Well, you said something. We're gonna have to try to use our best archaeology uh, skills to reconstruct it, though, because it did not survive. I'm so sorry. It looks like it was a basket with kittens and a mouse in it, and it's adorable. I can see how cute it is. I'm so sorry it didn't make it intact. It says on here, sweet, cute, howsoever, too nice to be eaten. Well, I've got some good news for you. Um, I think now it is in a state where I won't feel too much guilt about eating it. I'm so sorry. I wish it would have made it intact. but. I'm sure that we will get to see uh, sort of what was going on there when we get into it a little bit. I can definitely see it's a basket with a mouse, and I see some cat ears, I think. Hmm. Well, it's adorable. I'm just, I feel bad that it didn't make it. Not because I, you know, really needed it to show up intact, but just because I just feel so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Now, there is a, uh, let's see, a bottom here that seems like it contains something additional. Oh, this must be the advent calendar. Of course. The aforementioned advent calendars. Looks like there are two of them. Not only children shorten such a calendar, uh, the waiting time until Christmas Eve, also, the adults are enjoy happy about a sweet surprise. Well, that's certainly how I feel, and they're both the same picture of a beautiful cat. And uh, thank you. I haven't had an advent calendar. I haven't seen an advent calendar since I was a little kid. My parents used to have them, and I uh, I don't remember ever really waiting to open each day the way I should have. My parents could have used that to teach me a valuable lesson about being patient, and I don't feel like they did. Um, but, 
I'm not blaming them for that, of course. I'm just saying that's the way it was. Sometimes the Advent uh, would come a little early. <laughs> wow. Well, this is some incredible, incredible stuff. What a great gift. I am just so sorry that, that your thing that was too cute to be eaten now is in perfect shape to be eaten because that's just going to... That's going to wreck my diet, and uh, it seems like you did everything you could to try to keep it from, from being damaged, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Uh, I can't believe the stuff you sent, though. It's so cool. I'm really excited to try this cake bread, and uh, and I feel like the camera got moved. Did it? Did somebody move the camera? Are we a mess? Hang on. Yes, that's a complete disaster. How long has it been that way? Nobody. I don't know how much of that you got to see uh, because I don't know when the camera got moved. But here's that little guy with the top hat on the heart chocolate. And the rest of it, I hope you got to see as we were going through it. All right. Wow. This moose thing, though, is amazing. The not a reindeer moose. I'm just, this is, he's so cute, and I've never seen this before. This is so cool. He's like a sort of an Advent moose in a way. This is great. This is so great. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. Wow. That's, that's really spectacular. Thank you so much. As I said, I've got to put everything back in the box because DJ's got to be able to catalog this stuff later. So, there we go. Slide that right over. That's some fantastic stuff. Well, according to this, it's 11 o'clock. There's still no DJ. I said that would be our cutoff point. There's so much still to go through, though. What are we doing? Let's do one more, okay? Let's do one more and see if DJ shows up. All right, whatever's next here. This says Happy Christmas on it. Oh, another customs declaration. So this is another thing from somewhere else. I think this time we are from Canada. And it's got a tree on the front that says Happy Christmas. So cute. DJ's still not back after this box. We'll do the rest of the mailbag tomorrow. And if you are watching and you can't make it tomorrow, don't worry. We'll put the whole thing up uh, later on like we always do. Now remember to archive today. I'll remember to archive tomorrow. I'm sure we'll get that for you. Wow. This is a box full of some stuff. Let's see what... Oh, <laughs> this is so cute. Okay. So it starts out right here. It says... Been meaning to send you this page from our local paper since August. May not be as exciting as duck races, but definitely just as weird. And it is just as weird because the article here is Battle of the Mowers. The annual lawn mower race is returning this weekend. Mowers at the ready is one of the world's wackiest races returns to Five Oaks. The annual lawn mower race will be making its grand return on Saturday, August 12th. With more than 100 drivers from around the globe set to battle it out for the coveted, curveted trophy. Hmm. Competitors from countries including Belgium, France, Luxembourg, and the UK will reach speeds of up to 50 miles an hour as they race on specifically, des specially designed lawn mowers in the 12-hour overnight spectacle. The action will be fast and furious, with this year's event expected to be one of the biggest ever, with 146 drivers taking part. Dropping the start flag at 8 p.m. will be West Sussex County Council Chairman Lionel Barnard. The event is hosted by West Sussex-based British Lawn Mower Racing Association. Entry is six pounds, with children going free. There's no charge for parking, and spectators can enjoy full trackside catering and commentary throughout the night. All profits will be donated to Ingfield Manor School. And then you probably won't be able to see it, but there is a great photo of a bunch of guys on tiny lawnmowers with uh, racing helmets there in the bottom corner. 
And obviously I was mistaken in saying this package is from Canada. I think we've all figured that out. And then there is a piece of tissue paper that says, but wait, there's more. Yes, there is. There appears to be a Gracie. I don't know how you ship that to us. All right, here's a really cute card of a little orange kitten laying on its back. And it says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, Happy Christmas. Here are a few treats for you. It's never too early to celebrate. Thank you so much for caring for all the mom, cats, and kittens and giving them the best start in life. Your selflessness and tireless devotion are inspirational. With love, Pauline. Pauline, thank you so much. Whatever it is that you've sent, Gracie is super into it and now is, is wearing some of the packing material. Gracie, Gracie, what is this? Are these your pool floats? Are you going to go for a swim now? You are ridiculous. You are being completely ridiculous, cat. Wow, I don't know what's going on in here, but it looks like a cake. I, we'll get to it. Hang on. First we have... Oh... Dried chicken, chicken and cheese actually. Chicken fillet mini strips, chicken and cheese. These are fancy. Oh, and they're labeled. So here's chicken fillet mini strips from Magnolia. It's got a little tiny Christmas card on it. It says Magnolia. That is so cute. And here's one for Fig. Fig is the one that's chicken and cheese because we know that she's a big fan of at least the mozzarella. Probably some other cheeses too. Those are so cute. Thank you for sending those for our mom cats. Now, there's a lot more going on in here. So, let's see. Gracie, are you helping? Gracie, is this helpful? Is it though? Gracie? Here we have a little red thing that says Christmas Wishes. And it's got a, a little picture of some teddy bears, I think. No, teddy mice that are climbing up to a post box. And it says, for your Christmas tree to remind you of your visit to London. This little gift comes via the Royal Mail with best wishes from Pauline on behalf of all in the UK. Well, that sounds exciting. Our trip to London, by the way, was the best. And uh, I, I'd like to go back sometime. What I would really like to do next time is see a little more of like the English countryside, I think. Uh, London was great, but I think we need the other experience too. I'll never forget London though, it was fantastic. What a great time, and just great people that we got to meet while we were there. And this is a Christmas ornament of a London postal box. And uh, it says on it, last collection, 24th December, and there's a little bird on top and some snow. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Thank you so much for sending that. I don't, you, I don't, I'm surprised that this uh, was so well protected. <laughs> Crazy, what are you doing? Crazy has wedged herself into this package. She's actually laying sideways, wedged in with the other stuff. I need to get a picture of this so you guys can see. Where's my phone? I need a picture of this. Crazy. Hey, 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 that's uncalled for. Gracie. She has really become one with this box. I know you can see her little tail sticking out. I'm going to post that picture straight on Discord. One of them. I don't know which one I just took to share. Let me try one of these. So ridiculous. Tracy, you are being a nut. A complete nut. We should have named you Cashew. Okay. Aw, here we have a cute little reindeer. <laughs> this, the reindeer has a card on its neck. And it's written here. We've got some French, which I will completely butcher. Je suis menu. I claim asylum. I want to live with my family at the famous Kitten Academy. <laughs> I claim asylum. That is so cute, Pauline. That's so adorable. Okay, you guys, I don't know what Pauline has put in the bottom of this box that you guys just will not leave alone. Let's find out. Here we have a package that's for Smokey, especially for Smokey. Let's see what we got. So cute. Oh! 
Tesco Christmas dinner three bird feast. Wow, Christmas dinner three bird feast. That's some really cool stuff. I bet Smokey is going to love that. I bet she's really going to love that. That's so special, too. I didn't know that was a thing, that, that people, that, uh, you know, cat food makers were doing special Christmas dinner stuff. How cool is that? Here we have some Dreamy's Della Cats. Please share among kittens endowment bags. I just, I felt my phone buzz again. Somebody's trying to warn me or tell me something or, or something. I see somebody was trying to tell me the floor can't move. Please open the box at your right knee today. Oh, that's Pauline. Uh, I did it, Pauline. How about that? I got it. Just what you asked. I did that. All right. I don't know why my phone was just buzzing, because it seems like everything else was old. But let me double check the camera angle. I think we're still good. Okay. All right. Wow. Hey, what is it, kids? What do you want from this box? What do you want? You're tearing, you're tearing things up. I see you've already torn this little thing. What is this? It says, for you, dearest Elsie from Santa, clue, it's not coconut. How is that a clue? Oh. Oh, I get it now. Tesco Christmas pudding biscuits for dogs. So, yes, someone sent us a Christmas pudding cat toy last year, and I had never heard of this Christmas pudding because we don't do those here in the United States. And I was completely confused by what it might be, and I thought perhaps it was a coconut, a Christmas coconut. And therefore, it is still the Christmas coconut. Um, and that makes sense, actually. So now I get it. You sent uh, Elsie some little dog Christmas coconuts really cool. All right, this is, um, this is an interesting little package with a card on the inside. Now, now, the card on the inside says, I do hope these arrived unbroken and still edible. The decoration is sugar paste and can be eaten or removed if you don't want a sugar high. Okay for veggies. It is citrus spiced Christmas cookies specially designed for Kitten Academy with thanks to Kate who is paper, wool, and glue on Discord for the artwork. What? Uh, what is going on in here? Now I need to know. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, these smell so good. Wow. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of cookies in here. They did arrive unbroken. It looks like there's like eight or more. I'm not going to try to get them all out because I don't want to risk breaking them and or just spontaneously eating them all. But all the cookies look just like this. How cool is that? That is so cool. I don't know how I can eat these. They should have arrived broken. Then I would have no problem eating them, as we've learned. We've learned how that works. Maybe you should have sent one intact and smashed the rest, and then I'd be like, I'd just eat them. As it is, I don't know. Oh, they smell so good, though. Wow. They smell really yummy. Citrus spiced Christmas cookies. That sounds amazing. It sounds completely amazing. It smells so good. Wow, Kate, thank you for assisting Pauline with that. That's fantastical. That's so cool. You guys are just the best. That's the best. All right, here we have a little thing that's for DJ. She's not even here, but I'm still going to open it. I can hear it's got a little jingle in there. It says, open here. All right, well, that's what I'll do. Oh, oh wow. What is going on here? So first off, there's a card that's got a picture of a little kitten wearing a tiara, and it says, have a magical Christmas. It says, to DJ, because I share your love of all things tiny, have a wonderful new year with love, Pauline. And then there is obviously something tiny included. Meanwhile, Gracie is just ripping open the last thing that's in that box. She's tearing into it. Whoa, what is this? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, DJ's going to lose it when she sees this. It's a little tiny charm of a little tiny uh, Japanese kitten thing that is a bell. 
It is very tiny and adorable, and the kittens obviously think that it's really cool. And I'm going to wrap it right back up so that DJ can see it when she gets home. Wow, Pauline, this is some really cool stuff. I don't know, I don't know where the envelope for that card just went. There it is. Okay, these kids getting into everything. Tearing up everything. They are totally into this mailbag today. Yeah, okay. Um, why don't you just, yeah, run away with that? How? These are for dogs, even. Why are you running away with it? Okay. There was something else attached to the package for DJ. Let's take a look. are going nuts here. All right. It is a shirt. Oh, that's too cool with a very sparkly reindeer on it. That's perfect for DJ. It's reindeer. It's like a creepy reindeer and sparkly. We all know DJ loves sparkly things. That's so wonderful. Wow. Pauline, that's great. DJ's really going to get a kick out of that. I'm sorry she's not here right now to tell you so herself. But I bet she'll get a chance to tell you online later, since you are all over the chat. Okay. Sassy will not leave alone these treats that are for Elsie. She's actually torn the box in two places already. Three places. Can you guys see these two marks through the, the plastic on top? Okay. Then there's another little card that says Mr. A. <laughs> really turned into a production here. You kids. Okay. If anybody else has anything that has to be open today, you better send me a message on chat right now. Aw, this one's a little cat with a halo and some angel's wings that says Christmas wishes. And have a wonderful new year. To Mr. A with love from Pauline, this is a little reminder of what to do when you are trying to cope with alien languages. Interesting. <gasps> Stick a fish in your ear! It's so cute. It's got a little picture of a babel fish. It's a pen. It says stick a fish in your eye. I thought this was going to be some kind of a babel fish reference, but I didn't expect it to be an actual... Little Babel fish on a pin. Stick a fish in your ear. That's so, that's so cool. Where do you find stuff like this? That is so great. I am totally going to wear this pin. And then everybody will think I'm telling them something rude, like stick a fish in your ear. Sounds kind of rude, doesn't it? I know what it means, though. Of course I do. All right. And a shirt. Wow. Head elf with a, I see, I'm, I'm going to have to wear this. I'm going to look ridiculous in it, but I'm, I'm going to have to wear it. It's, a, it's an elf costume t-shirt, basically. And uh, it's got, like, jingle bells around the neck, and it's got a naughty or nice o -meter, reindeer snacks, and some other various things. It says head elf. So cool. Thank you so much. That's, that's going to be fun, actually. Maybe I can wear it for the next mailbag. All right, as I said, I have to put everything back in this box, but I guess I don't have to... Oh, hey, Gracie, you be careful. I know you were in the middle of playing, and I stuck my finger in there. It's my fault. I know. But you've got to use a little more caution. My goodness. You really got me there. Wow. All right. Let's see how much of this I can get back in here. Pauline, that is an amazing box of stuff. Thank you so much. Hey, Gracie, I'm not kidding anymore. I'm going to have to start punishing you. I love the little asylum reindeer. <laughs> so cute. Oh, 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 Gracie, 
You were being a little wild thing. Completely wild thing. Alright, time for me to check real quick and see if anybody... Hey, Gracie, that's too much. Stop it. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see. My phone. Uh, let's just see if anybody says if there was anything else that absolutely has to be open today or else. saying, wait, DJ is almost home, but she's not. She's like 20 minutes away. Uh, so, and I, oh, she's also talking about bringing home lunch. So she's going to be even later. Um, so we're going to call it. We're going to call mailbag for today. We got through a whole bunch of stuff. and We're going to do the rest tomorrow at the same time. So we'll do it at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, we will start the mailbag and then we'll go until just about noon. Hopefully we'll get through this stuff. I think we will. And then at noon is when we expect people to start showing up to do adoptions. So uh, we'll go right from one thing to the next. Uh, thank you so much to everybody whose stuff we opened today. I'm so sorry for everybody that we're pushing off until tomorrow. Um, I hope you get a chance to tune in tomorrow. But like I said, even if you don't, uh, all of it's going to be archived. We'll have it up on our channel later this week. You can watch it whenever is convenient for you. So... Uh, Thank you, though. Thank you. This stuff is amazing. You guys are all so great. Pauline, thank you so much for what you just sent. Um, it's really cool stuff. And obviously, the kittens are going nuts for your packing material and everything else. All right. Well, now it's up to me to get all this stuff out of here, which uh, I am going to start working on presently. Uh, no pun intended. Okay, maybe a little pun intended. Uh Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Let's see what I can do. So first off, I'm going to put this stuff back in the mailbag box. Okay, this is a lot of stuff for us to do tomorrow, too. But uh, we'll have DJ here. I bet things will go a little bit smoother. She can keep me a little bit more on a subject, possibly. We'll see about that. barricade up in the kitchen so theoretically none of them are going to leave the kitchen um, but in actual practice it does not slow down chestnut whatsoever she jumps right over that thing when she wants
Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Kittens. Finch still in here? Finchy? Finchy, I didn't see much of you during mailbag. Where are you? No, not in there. Any one of these? Nope. Nope. Oh, maybe Finchy left the room too. That's a good sign. Yeah. Feel better. Off to wander. All right, time to sort some kittens. No, there's Finchy. Yep, she is out of the kitchen. Chestnut actually was in the kitchen until she saw me coming to bring her back to the room, and then she just flew over the barrier, straight up to the master bedroom. She's probably hiding under the bed, because she knows I was going to take her away. So now I'm going to have to wait for her to come out, I think. I don't feel like trying to chase her out from under the bed. Just about time for mailbag part two. Just got to bring the mail in for that, obviously. Makes too much sense, doesn't it?
looks like it lost its label. Let's cover that up. I know I'm already a minute late, uh, but I really need some bonus caffeine, so I'm making a coffee while DJ gets herself set up. And then we'll start the mailbag in about one minute. Um, <laughs> I got a picture of uh, uh, Maggie out in the kitchen trying to eat a package of cookies. 
because she literally will try to eat anything that is food that she could possibly eat. I'm going to share that on the Discord real quick. I'm very serious about it. Check the camera angles real quick. Make sure that we are good to go. Somewhere there's a camera. There it is. Yeah, I guess that's all right. Good. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us on this second day of the Kitten Academy uh, mail bag. Appreciate you coming back for more. Um, you certainly sent us lots of stuff this week. We greatly appreciate that. And let's jump right into it. We don't have any letters today because we went through all those yesterday. So today it's all packages. And we'll start out with this one that the cats were playing with. It says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, I spotted this and just had to send it for cat shoes and Dalman bag. Or keep it yourselves as a memento of her time there. You can decide from leopard spots. Mm. And there's an Amazon thank you note thing. You want that, DJ? You're hard to reach all the way over there. Yeah. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Maybe I just need to move closer to you. Hang on. Let's see if I can a little bit. Here, can you reach this now? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. I'm going to try that. Well, I don't know what this could be. It's in a little box. Hmm. I know what it could be. Leopard spots. What? What? Huh. Oh. Oh my goodness. This makes you think of cashew, huh? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. That's funny. It is a bunch of unhappy looking cats. <laughs> it, is a, it is a set, actually, of unhappy cat toys. Uh, here we have a little orange one with an angry face. And here we have a little gray one with an angry face that's looking over his butt. And here we have a white one and a gray one together with angry faces where the white one is climbing on the gray one. That doesn't one doesn't want to sit up very well for me. That's all right. Here we have a little white one with his hands on his hips looking very angry. Here we have a little white one just looking angry. <laughs> And here we have one standing up with his arms crossed, looking angry, of course. These are super, super cute. I know you guys can't see them very well. I'll try to get a picture later on that I can share with everybody up close so that you can see how cute they are. They are adorable, though. They're really, really cute. Thank you. Thank you, Leopard Spots. Um, Cashew still um, is angry a little bit when I give her her meds, but otherwise she's really come around pretty well. I guess she's still got a little bit of an angry face. Not as much as Sassy, though. I'll tell you, Sassy's the one that's just got the permanently angry face. But she's just as cute as one of these little toys. She's not actually angry at all. You just have that look about you. Okay. Thank you, Leopard Spots. Those are adorable. Really adorable. Okay. Moving right along. Uh, don't forget, folks, that uh, sometime between noon and 1 o'clock today... We are expecting uh, Budgie's adopters to come and pick up Budgie, so that will happen. Um, we're also expecting our friend Deb, who is the one that brought Gracie with Catman Chris. Uh, we're expecting Deb to stop by just for a chat, so that should uh, all be happening later this afternoon. I think Deb, just for the record, she's going to chat with me, not, not with you guys. But we'll see. Oh. Hi, kids. What are you doing in there? How am I going to get into this package with two cats in it now? There must be something in here that smells good because they are all over it. Look at that. There's a letter here. It says, Mr. A and DJ, okay to read on air. On air. I like that phrase. I've always liked the phrase on air, um, but it seems strange because, you know, it refers to the radio waves going out over the air. Oh, hey, somebody, look, what? They, she stole a toy out of the package. Where'd you... I guess that's where it's at. Oh, my goodness. Wow, she that's really it. likes that thing, too. That's like a real mouse. She's very serious about it. Let's see what it says. 
Wow. Yeah, don't bring in the litter box. Don't do that. Wow. That's a good toy. She really likes that. So sending a little holiday cheer your way for Christmas. Thank you again for all you do. Feel free to distribute the toys amongst the faculty and mom cats as you see fit. The rest is for the two of you. Merry Christmas from the Meager family, a.k.a. Mr. Tucker on Discord. Well, Mr. Tucker on Discord, I don't know where you found this cat toy, but uh, Sassy's claimed it, and she's she's gone off with it now, and she's throwing it around and playing with it. She loves it. That is an awesome toy. She looks just like she does when she gets that mouse on the string that everybody loves. Hey, Sassy, let me see this. Sassy, no, let me see it. Oh, no, she won't. She won't let me see it. Okay. Wow. That was a crazy good choice of toy, though. I would describe it as a little furry leather mouse. It's got fur and it's got a little leather it's face like on it. Leather. Yeah. It's like a real leather kind of tail. And face. Yeah. Face. So the face and tail are made out of leather and the rest of it looks like it's really maybe made out of some sort of mouse. fur. Yeah, she's totally into it. Here we have Tipsy Nip brand Tickled Jerkins. Gherkins? Is it Gherkins or Jerkins for the, for the pickle? I don't know. Maybe it's Gherkins. At any rate, We've got two catnip pickles. Those are really cute. I don't know why pickles, but they're awesome. And apparently they're also cool because one of the cats that's playing in the box has already put tooth marks in the corner here. They want this one. Plus, now Chestnut is pulling out another toy. What have you got, Chestnut? Tickle Gherkins. G-H-E-R. Pickles. Tickle pickles. Stuffed with 100% eye-crossing organic tipsy nip catnip. This I Tipsy like Nip, it. Tipsy Nip brand. So what have you got? You've got a Yao stocking. I've never heard of that. That must be a new Yao product this year. Yeah. And apparently it is a hit with Chestnut. She wants to open the stocking right now and get all the catnip out. Wow. A Yao brand Christmas That's stocking. Yao is very good catnip. It's some of the best. So, and as Chestnut will attest, Chestnut. Can I have a card? Oh, wow. She's growling. Like I really caught this mouse. Yeah, that's sassy growling at the toy that she's carrying around. Nobody's even trying to take it from her, and she's no, growling about it. Okay, Chestnut, you can play with that, but I at least need you to take it out of the box for a minute, okay? Put that right over there. Oh, I see. There's a second one of those, too, for somebody else. And they say Yao across the top, and they're very cute. I have not seen this before. We are familiar with a lot of the Yao products because... It is, honestly, some of the best cat chip out there. And uh, apparently the cats are digging it. Oh, here we have a second set of the Tipsy Nip pickle uh, toys. So we've got four of those. I bet those are going to be a big hit. And then we have what appears to be a tin of Stroopwaffle. Wow. Yeah, we've been out of Stroopwaffle for a little while, so this is going to really hit the spot. And by the spot, I mean my stomach. Maybe we should give it to adopters instead of giving it to your stomach. My stomach needs it more than the adopters. No, their stomach probably need it more. Well, anyway, it's a beautiful tin of Stroopwaffle, which we know are delicious, delicious. Now that we've been introduced to them, it's become kind of a thing. Finally, I see that we have matching boxes from, oh, we have matching boxes from West Elm. And one is blue and one is red. And on the side of the thing, there is a picture of a cat. And on the other side of the thing, it says glass cat object, which is apparently translated into Spanish as gato de vidrio. Vidrio? Vidrio? Vidrio must mean glass, like vitreous, right? Anyway, I'm guessing. I, I obviously don't know any languages, including English. It also says here that 50% of the purchase price went directly to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So that's wonderful. We see their commercials on TV. Wow, they are sort of gut-wrenching, but I love what they're doing. <gasps> this is beautiful. This is so pretty. Wow. It does look like cashew. It's kind of shaped like cashew, too. It's fitting the way cashew. I need to check to make sure that's on the camera right. Can you, do you have the stream up over there? Yeah, but it's, oh, it's right on the me. bottom of this. I just moved, t moved it down one little touch. So that's beautiful, and I'm guessing. There's a cashew in your box. I know, yes, there is a cashew. 
And oh, here's the, okay. So the other one is similar, but blue, uh, and they're beautiful. Um, art glass. I mean, these are just gorgeous. They're very heavy, like paperweights, and the the glass, the work there is just um, exquisite. And they make a beautiful little matched pair. I love them so much. Those are fantastic. They're they're very solid, heavy too. I mean, these are these are solid, solid glass. So I think that they'll be very sturdy. Those are amazing. Those are really, really beautiful. Thank you so, so much for those. Wow. Put those back in the boxes so that they make it safely to our display cabinet or to our desks, maybe. It looks like it would make a nice little desk accessory. Eleanor says your Spanish was okay this time. Okay this time. That is high praise coming from Eleanor, whose name I can't say, by the way. Yeah, just say Eleanor, I'm sure it's wrong. Yes, it is wrong, but that's yeah. what I'm going to stick with anyway. Cool. Are you, you're cataloging this, right? So I can put the, the previous gift from Leopard Spots in this box and we won't get all yeah. confused. Okay. Good. I'm going to do that. And uh, I guess that uh, two of those toys have just become part of this room already. They're still playing with the stocking now. We've got Cashew playing with the stocking. And I've completely lost... Oh, Sassy is definitely still playing with her mouse. Can I borrow this? Can I show the mouse to everybody, Sassy? No. No, no. she's not. No. Oh, yep, no. Here we go. Okay, I just want to show it to you guys real quick. It's made of uh, what appears oh, to be... Don't push it. I'm not pushing her away. It's made of uh, rabbit fur, I can tell. It's uh, very soft, and then it's got a little leather face and a little leather tail and these whiskers. And somebody has painted a smiley face on the leather, which is kind of funny because this, this mouse would not be smiling under these circumstances. Wow. And she is crazy for that thing. That is one of the coolest cat toys ever. I'm going to have to figure out where you got is that. that we that might. A pack? No, it was just out. She just she just grabbed it. It was just Did in the box. Or something? I don't know. I don't know, but if we can find those, I'm going to have to get some more for the faculty because I can see that is a huge hit. Wow. Thank you so much. That is really cool. What do you got here? Yeah. All right, so normally kittens, uh, you know, like kittens that we have, normally we have until they're up to maybe three months old. And three months is right about the spot where they might maybe possibly be starting to enjoy catnip. But obviously, uh, Sassy and um, little Grumpy here and... Uh, Wherever Chestnut is, they're all just a little bit older than that. They're probably closer to six months, and uh, Cashew here might even be closer to uh, ten, 10 months or a year. No, so, said five or six months. Okay, five or six then. Whatever she is, they're all a little bit older, and so they're crazy about the nip. Can you find a box with Hello Kitty stickers? A box with Hello Kitty stickers? Mm. Or a box of Hello Kitty stickers. I only see stickers on one box. Am I supposed to open this one now? Is that what you're asking for? Is it Hello Kitty? I don't see Hello Kitty anywhere. I see little kitties and tuna. I love my cat. There's no actual Hello Kitty on it. She is still growling at that toy. Wow. Uh, I'm not seeing anything with Hello Kitty stickers. Why are you asking me? Because someone wants to open it. Uh, two reds in the box. There were two of those? Yeah, did you find another? No, but you've got the box. Why don't you look? Hmm. I only found one. Close? Oh. Maybe, I, uh, maybe I missed something. So this was from this morning when... Uh, Kaya and Fig came. That's Kaya and Fig. This their name on Discord. That's the oh. adopters. Oh, there is another one in there. Ah, wow. I didn't see it. The other one is right here. Let me show that off. Here's the other one. We'll we'll take this out for the faculty. I think they don't need two of them in here. Or maybe we we might try it on uh, our mom cat Lorraine, who so far has not cared for any toy that we've given her. She just doesn't care about toys at all. So maybe we can find something that she does care about. We'll try. Anyway, 
This bag is from Figs Adopters. They dropped this off uh, this morning when they picked up figs just a few, uh, just a little while ago. And I want to show you what they gave us because it is so cute. Mm -hmm. They brought us Nature's Bakery Stone Ground Whole Wheat Fig Bar. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a fig bar. In fact, we've got uh, two raspberry fig bars. We have two blueberry fig bars. And we have two apple cinnamon fig bars. Well, but wait, there's more. We also have an entire jar of specially selected premium fig fruit spread. Fig fruit spread. Yes, that's what I said. Fig fruit spread. That's, uh, that's a little hard to say five times fast. And uh, it looks completely awesome. I'm excited to try it. Um, I do not have a ton of experience with fig, although I have cooked with figs, you know, thanks to Blue Apron. And uh, I do like the flavor of a fig, so this should be good. Kind of strange uh, that hysterical kitten posted of sassy. Wow, that's a great shot. Nice catch, spherical kitten. Sassy and Why, bitter. She's still around. just running around the room, chewing and playing on this thing. She's over there behind the camera now, so you can't see her, but she's I can got see her. Wild eyes and she's yes. Growling. She is still growling, even though nobody's trying to take it away. What a great gift, though. We're gonna, we're really gonna have to figure out where that came from. Well, they say they were at a mud based store here in Washington in a bin called Flat Rats Just in a Bin. Oh, so maybe they're just kind of specific to that area. Somebody has made them, huh? Wow. Yes. So this box. It's amazing. Yeah, it, it's an amazing toy. This box is from Spider Beth. Spider Beth on the chat. We all know Spider Beth. And it is addressed to Elsie the Dog, care of Kitten Academy. So it also has uh, beautiful dog and cat um, Chinese New Year stickers, I believe. I'm just guessing. Uh, okay. This says, and the letter inside is addressed to Elsie. This is so cute, Spider Beth. It says, hi Elsie, I saw this at our local pet store and thought you might like it. It's pumpkin spice latte for dogs. This PSL is made from 100% human grade foods, so it is okay for you to share it with DJ if you want to. Cats can enjoy it too, so if there's any leftover, perhaps you can give Magnolia a task because she is quite the cat. A task? That's not, it can't be what that says. Uh, taste. Oh, it says taste. There we go. Uh, so perhaps you can give Magnolia a taste because she is quite the cat. And there's a little drawing of a cat face, and it says, Keep up the good work, Elsie. Jane, a.k.a. Spider Beth on Discord. Thank you so much, Spider Beth. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is actually a thing. Wow. It is the seasonal edition instant pumpkin spice latte. A nourishing blend of goat's milk, pumpkin, and aromatic spices for dogs and cats. This warm and nourishing blend of goat's milk, pumpkin, honey, and aromatic spices is sure to warm your pup or kitty's tummy. How about that? Mix two tablespoons with an 8-ounce cup of hot water and stir briskly. Allow to cool until it's just right for your pet. Refrigerate any leftovers and use within three days. Hmm. It also says you can pour it over their kibble to give them a pumpkin spice dinner. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. I want to know what this smells like. Can I smell it? Mm -mm, you may not. Please? Fine. Thank you. No. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. It smells very pumpkin spicy. It smells like, um, like going to a store at Christmas time. Okay. Very Jeez. cool. Yeah. Spider Beth. Uh, that is such a unique gift. I have never heard of pumpkin spice latte for pets. I, it does, it smells very yummy. Like, I almost want to try it. Thank you so much for sending that. We will be sure to let Elsie check it out with her dinner maybe tonight. I think that'll be really cool. I'm going to move this stuff around a little bit. I can tell the DJ is going to need some room soon to start setting boxes down. So I'm going to eliminate this, this front stuff first. Here we have a package that is two Kitten Academy, and on the side we've got stickers of two little kittens that say Meowie Christmas. 
Those are adorable. Did you check the mailbox today by any chance? No. And then on the front we have a beautiful picture of a cat with their blue and white Christmas tree. Why the mailbox today? Oh. See, well, I don't think the mail's arrived yet today. What name did you say was in here? spider Bat? Yesterday, not today. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't know what this is going on in here, but I can smell it a little bit, and I think the kittens can, too. I'm going to go check, so it can be open. I'm going to have to check the other package, too. Is that fine? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to get caught up. So, here we go. We have a letter out of order. And a bunch of great photos. Wow, this blue and white Christmas tree is beautiful. And it says, family room tree. Mom hand-painted the teal lights. Wow. We have baby Kitty and Kirby. And Ness. And our living room. Oh. Catnip inspection. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looks like we've got some homemade catnip somewhere in here. And I see that Chessie's not only trying to get into it, she's already dragging toys out. Chessie, why don't you wait just a minute? Okay, let's skip ahead here. Hang on. It says, uh, <laughs> Greetings, Mr. A, DJ, esteemed faculty and staff, and student kittens. My name is Rocky, and I'm 16 years old. I also answer to Rocky Bear, Bear, Burrs, and Handsome. Although I have to share Hanson with my nephew, Kirby. I'm not a graduate of a fine institution of higher catting, but rather was homeschooled. The most important lesson I can convey to the youth of today is no matter what trouble you find yourself in, whether accidental or intentional, your loudest purr and endless spoogles will get, always get you out of trouble with the humans. In our family, spoogles have been called snoodles for as long as I remember. Perhaps it's a regional thing. I also have to admit my Shaka Shaka is not the Olympic caliber Professor Ari teaches, but it is adequate to get the job done. Well, I really feel like DJ should be here to hear this letter instead of uh, out at the mailbox. Um, hmm. That's fine. She can read it herself. Uh, it says, I have a gal. Her name is Ness. By your reasoning, she should be my aunt and, well, no. She has apple green eyes and dainty pussy willow paws. She is a lab hog, but I love her. I also have a human sister and brother who have grown up. My human sister has two fur kids of her own, and they come to visit on holidays. My nephew Kirby is orange and wears a bow tie, but otherwise an okay kid. We share a love of puffballs, although we disagree on which we prefer. His favorites are the ones you call Charlie balls. I prefer a nice non-sparkle half to three-quarter inch pom-pom. My niece, Baby Kitty, is built like a linebacker, and there's nothing dilute about her tortitude. She is passionate about treats in the Ripple Rug and Catnip. They are both fans of the live stream. Since this is the season of giving, we have sent a few of our favorite things. First, there are plastic balls. If you have plenty, please pass them on to other fosters. The yarn balls have a bit of catnip and a bell inside. They are good for fetch and can be distributed at your discretion. The large puffballs were a Kirby kitten favorite and perhaps would be enjoyed by upcoming classes. The small wand toys can go into kitten graduation swag bags. Mom also included a couple of my favorite toys. The gray furry ones with ribbons. Uh, let's see, hang on a second. That's your Mom also included a couple of my favorite toys, the gray furry ones with ribbons. She tucked a bit of catnip and a bell in those as well. I have a large collection of these and I love carrying them around. A few have been murdered by the vacuum over the years, which is a cautionary tale for every kitten to store their favorites in a secure location. Also included is a container of what I call Rocky's Plantation Nomming Nip. Okay, it isn't a catnip plantation, it's three plants, but it keeps us busy providing nip for family and friends. Please offer to catnip lovers that love to eat their catnip. Ness and I have worked hard to maintain high quality we also had to ensure our home permeated with the scent of drying catnip almost every day this past summer. The sacrifices we endure. But the nomming nip is a favorite of Kirby and Baby Kitty. They love it as a snack or tucked in their ripple rug. Finally, 
There are some human things as well for DJ, who apparently loves all things Christmas as much as my mom does. Actually, I love napping under the tree. Mom puts lights under a lacy blanket, and it is the best. My own northern lights to snooze on. So, Mom included some pictures, some ornaments, and a hand-crocheted tinsel infinity scarf. Meowy Christmas and Purry New Year, Rocky. Wow. What a great letter. That's fantastic. And let's see all the stuff that Rocky was talking about here. Did I miss like a whole package or no. is that the one? This is the one we were working on. So first off, we have uh, three beautiful little catnip mice that have, uh, wow, they have bells inside, they have fur outside, and they have little um, ribbons sticking out the end. And they're pretty cool and they smell great. Wow, that smells like some serious catnip. Oh. oh. All right. And there's more. There you go. Now, in here we have little uh, knit balls, I guess. Not knit, they're just sort of wrapped up. Um, these are interesting. They also have a, a strong catnip scent to them and little rattles inside. And they come in a variety of colors. Wow, these will keep us busy for a while. These are fantastic. Look at those, and they're very sparkly too. Oh, you want one right now, don't you? You can wait. You're still playing with your stocking. Speaking of still playing, here comes Sassafras with her mouse, which now I can see how wet it is from her slobber. She's going nuts on that thing. Okay, but wait, there's more. Here we have, wow, this is some serious homemade nip. Oh, wow, that smells intense. Look at that. And it's got all the little leaves and the little uh, flower buds. It's beautiful. That's the serious, serious stuff. What do you think of that? Does that smell good? Cashew approves. Pink. Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, but there's a lot more going on in here. We have two bags of little brown uh, fur palms, I guess. Let's pull one out. And, yes, they are. Little brown fur palms. These also make great cat toys. Wow, this is a great bag of stuff. This is really incredible. So we have two bags full of those. Cassie, <laughs> that's hitting the camera with her toy. sparkly uh, yarn balls. Okay. Oh, wow. This is so much stuff. Here we have an adorable little dog angel ornament with a spot to put a picture in it. Here we have an orange cat ornament that is wearing a, a collar with a bell and playing with a little tiny blue Charlie ball and wearing a Christmas hat. And that, look at that, I don't, can you see that? That's a legitimate, like, little tiny Charlie ball. It's the real thing. It's very tiny. Look at that. It looks just like Charlie, too. He's all orange and white. That's so cute. And here we have another ornament. This one is a cat playing with a, I think it's a bell on a wreath. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, it is a bell. I can see it better from the other side. There we go. So yeah. cute. Those are some great little Christmas ornaments. But there's still more in here. A lot more. Wow, a lot more. Rocky, you went all out. Oh, here's the tinsel that we talked about. Look at that. A tinsel infinity scarf, no less. Can I wear this and be festive right now? That is so cool. It's so shiny. There we go. I'm going to be a little festive for the rest of the mailbag. And, oh, there's more. Oh, this is wrapped up. Oh, these are individually wrapped. What are they? What are the individually wrapped things? Let's see.
these are little wand toys. The wands are very nice, and they have a little string that can be, it's, it's kind of like a little thing that you can wrap the string around, which is really nice, thoughtful. Little tiny, nearly invisible string. Excellent connections at the end, and then obviously handmade, um, real bird feathers. And not only are they real, beautiful feathers, but they've also got a, a really pretty little wrap on the end uh, that holds them in place. Those are great. Uh, oh, and look at the way that flies, too. Do you see that? Wow. Oh, look at that. How does it do that? Oh, it's because it's perfectly weighted. Oh, Sassy, you gave up your mouth. Whoa, Sassy gave up her mouth. Where is it? Oh, my goodness. Now we've got a mess. So there's apparently a set of these. We've got uh, one, two, three of them. And they're awesome. These are so fantastic. Sassy, I need to have that back, though. No, no, I don't want you guys to ruin this yet. Let's ruin it later, okay? Oh, wow. This is so, so beautiful, though. And look at that. You can wrap this right up here to put it away again. Oh, no, no, I'm stopping. This is always a problem with the wand toys is how do you put them away, but this one's very tidy that way. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm putting it right here. Oh, wow. So three of those, that's amazing. And I gotta put that away. Sassy, go find your other thing. And then to top it off, to top all that off as though it needed a topper at this point, what an amazing bag. Does not need any topping, but we do have a topping, which is uh, a whole bunch of plastic jingle balls. Just a ton of them. I don't know how well you can see that with chestnuts standing in the way. But there's got to be like two dozen jingle balls of various types in there. Those are awesome. Wow, what a great box. These toys are all like top, top notch cat toys and so many of them. And your homemade catnip and the Christmas ornaments and those wands with the real feathers. This is this is an epic box right here. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to fit everything back in here so I can hand it off to DJ and she can catalog it appropriately. Let's see. Especially these wands. These have to be put away because the cats will go nuts for those. That's so great. Rocky, thank you so much. I, I feel like there should be some credit to a human other than just Rocky, but... You know, we'll take what we got. Maybe there's a clue. No, there's not. This is one that didn't have a return address on the outside either. Hmm, a mystery for DJ. Do you want this or not? There's nothing on it. No. I'm sure. A mystery, Rocky. Wow, well, Rocky, that is so fantastic. It's really, really great. It's really great. I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited for all those toys, and so are the kids. I'm just going to set that aside, because they're not ready for all that quite yet. Thank you so much. Wow. That's epic. I'm going to have a little more of my coffee here before we move on. Where did you put your new mouse, Sassy? Where did you put it when you dropped it to run over here? <laughs> Speaking of dropping, we have a drop shipment next. Good segue, right? Wait, you had to open the other one that I gave you. Oh, okay, we'll go to that. Hang on. Are people afraid that we won't make it through everything? Well, someone had to go ahead and Oh, okay. Well, then hang on. We'll come back to the drop shipment. Let's go back to this. There is a Hello Kitten sticker on this. It's just one, so I didn't see it. And it says... Here's Hello Kitty, and then it says, this side up, seriously. Ooh, all right, well, we'll take that seriously. It is from uh, Canada, according to this. It says Canada Post. And let's see if we can get this open. Oh, almost. Almost got it. There we go. Oh, what a cute little box. I don't know what this is. It's all sort of Japanese writing and stuff. Bestcarton.com. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see what this says. I see some fur. This looks really interesting. Cat shoes. 
It says, okay to read. Now, Cashew, Cashew is hugging the camera now. Cashy, nobody can see anything at all while you're doing that. Cashew, Cashew, come away. Uh, all right, we'll move her in just a minute. Let me read the letter to you. It says, okay to read, Dear Kitten Academy, this is my first time ever sending some mail over, so I hope this arrives in time for the holidays, and I hope it was handled with good care. In this box, I have a few things I wanted to share. The first is a box of chocolates for the humans, Mr. A and DJ. I hope you enjoy them. If not, feel free to share them with other humans you think may enjoy them. The second is a stuffed lion who I think could benefit from some Kitten Academy lessons and potentially a home with one of the kittens if it seems fit to graduate. DJ's over there abusing her laptop like Neil Breen. <laughs> which is, Nobody does. I'm no, sorry, that was a terrible reference anyway. <laughs> but, but it's yeah, good, right? It's yeah. good. If you know who he is, you're like, oh, I get it. Of course. It. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's still a space bar. Even if you don't drink. Yeah. yeah. It's like 10 forward. Yeah, right. 10 forward is a space bar. Yeah. I get it. I see what you did there. Okay. Um, Thank you. You're feeling better. And the third gift is a handmade catnip. Wait, what was the second gift? The second gift is the stuffed lion who needs Kitten Academy lessons. Oh. Um, and so could go home name? with one of the kittens. Does he have a name? It doesn't say he does. We'll find out says, the third gift is a handmade catnip bed for Cashew. This was not made by me. It was made by an elderly woman who volunteers at a local animal shelter. She's known for making handmade catnip beds and catnip toys for the cats and kittens. I hope Cashew gets the catnip bed before she is adopted. I think she is so adorable. P.S. The catnip bed may have a few white cat furs. One of the cats accidentally got a hold of the bed before I could. Aww. There will also be some tissue paper for the kittens to play since everything needs to stay together properly. Also, please note, do not mind the Japanese writing that you see on the box. If you can, this was simply a box I just reused from a package I got from Japan a while back. Since it's also the holidays approaching, I would like to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May your holidays be warm, cheerful, and Sorry. full of kittens. My pen forward doesn't work. <laughs> from, from staff. A.K.A. Dubby on Discord. I knew that. You knew that, huh? What was the name? Steph. A.K.A. Dubby. I didn't, how did, oh, you knew it was Dubby because Dubby asked you to open it, obviously. Yes, I get it. All right, so let's check out the items. We have a... Oh, this is too cute. The lion has no name. The lion is uh, from Crown. Jubal, obviously. Jubal. Yes, Jubal is a great name for the lion. And I bet some people get that reference, too. Uh, little Jubal. Jubal has a crown, too. He's not just any old lion. He's, he's got a serious crown going on there. Look at that. All right, Jubal. And if we dig... J-U-B-E-L? I think it's A-L, but I'm not sure. Oh, my goodness. The good chocolates. Not just any old chocolates. You said the good stuff. We got Lint. Lindor Truffles. Those are fantastic. Jubal Early. Jubal Early. Is it AL? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. And then finally, we have a catnip cat bed with uh, little stars on it. That's very patriotic for uh, for little cashew. Thank you so much. This seems like a nice bed, too. Does it smells a little bit like catnip? Yeah. I think she's really going to appreciate that. These are so great. Dubby, thank you so much. It's been so great having you as one of our participants on the Discord chat. You're one of the, the frequent chatters, and that's really fun for us. So thank you so much for sending this stuff, and I love little Jubal the lion. He is awesome. He's so cute. We will have to ask him that question uh, constantly. Are you, a are you a lion? Are you a lion? Are you a lion? Am I a lion? Are you a lion? <laughs> oh, I don't think of myself as a lion. I don't think of myself as a lion. Okay. All right. What was that? truffles, a lion, a cat bed. Okay. Diamond. Why are you putting it in the box? 
I'm going to go next to the drop shipment that I was about to do. Debbie, thank you so much, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Somebody's decided to keep us busy. Is there a note? There is a note. The note says, Hello! We have been watching Kitten Academy since Ivy's League and have had many hours of enjoyment from the classes and faculty. Hopefully, this adds to your joy. Greens from Colorado. All right, so the Greens in Colorado have sent us something. Um, and I will hand this over to DJ. Here you go. Oh, you don't look quite ready yet. It is a 1,000-piece puzzle, <gasps> which is, uh, it's actually Yoga Cats, and the puzzle is a whole bunch of individual pictures of cats in various yoga poses. They're all labeled, too. That is really, really cute. Uh, here's the warrior, the pigeon, the handstand, <laughs> eagle. These are excellent photographs, too. Some photographer really had some fun putting this together. That's really, really awesome. And DJ does. She always wants to do a puzzle, so we will get this set up and, and actually do it. That's so cool. Thank you so much. There's apparently a whole set of the puzzles at eurographicspuzzles.com. According to what it says here, there's a yoga cats, yoga kittens, yoga dogs, and yoga puppies. So you are set. No matter which one you want, these are really, really great. Huh, yoga cats, thank you so much. A thousand pieces, too. That is going to keep us busy for a while. But it's good for us to have something to bond over. Maybe we'll actually start that tonight. You know, we can, yeah. order, can order some Japanese and yeah. put on a fire and watch a bad Neil Breen movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've, <laughs> i got to stop saying his name. Folks, if you are listening to me talk about Neil Breen and you're like, I need to look him up, just don't. Please do. No, just don't. Oh, my God. They're so good. It is. <laughs> it's a, it's, DJ has a love of really bad movies. Not just, like, any bad movies, though. They have to be bad movies that where the, the people that are making the movies are really honestly trying their best. They're, they're, they're really, they, they think that the people that have produced these movies think that they are making art and they're doing everything they can to do it and it just comes out terrible but they're so sincere, but they're so sincere that it just, it makes it, it makes the movie really charming in a way, it makes the movie super charming and so Neil Breen is one of these directors that's made a whole series of movies that just fall into that category so perfectly. Also, one of DJ's favorite movies of all time is Birdemic, um, which uh, maybe don't watch it with the kids. There's at least one scene in there that's not for kids. Well, the Neil Green movies aren't good for kids. I know that there's some murder and stuff, but there's not anything. I don't remember if there's... Nobody wears proper clothes. Well, yeah, but there's nobody that's undressed or anything, is there? I don't remember. I guess I have better standards for Just use your caution, okay? Yes. Usual. I won't even mention the one that's currently... Well, if you know, there's a movie coming out in the theaters right now called The Disaster Artist, and there's a movie that that's based on that is also one of DJ's favorites that is absolutely not for kids, so do not even think about it. In no way should any children be exposed to that film. But if you're adults... And you like bad films, it is one to see for sure. I'll let you figure out the name just by looking that up. Yes, yes. It's not, nowadays it's become one of the most popular bad films of all time because, of course, we've got this famous A-list Hollywood movie coming out this month, or maybe already out, uh, that's all about it. So it's become a huge deal. But if you want something more obscure, then there's stuff like Birdemic or the Neil Breen movies that are very obscure. Okay, here's one that I've been looking forward to getting to because it has been a quality tested already. You can see right here that there's some bite marks by a cat, and then there's a label that says Fiddle's Mark of Approval. So Fiddle, check this out, made sure it was good, and that obviously gives away who the box is from. It is from Fiddle's Adopters which uh, is just fantastic. You guys have done so much for us already that you really did not need to send us anything additional. But I'm glad you did, and I'm really excited to see what's in here. Let's 
find out. Now, you know, DJ, when you weren't here for the mailbag yesterday, I started to introduce people to um, the idea of not sending stuff for us anymore. Yes. I know. I brought it up, but I didn't really talk Thanks. about all the reasons yeah, for it. Yeah, you should bring it up again. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing it up again. Is that what you're doing right now? Uh, I'm so meta. I'm so meta. Um, yeah, so again, you know, nobody should feel bad for sending us stuff, especially because I haven't talked about this before, so nobody knew that they shouldn't send us stuff. But we are going to try to, to put a lot stronger emphasis on sending things just for the kittens and nothing for DJ or Mr. A. And obviously, you know, if you want to break that rule, it's not going to be a terrible thing, but we've got some reasons, and when I figure out how to talk about it more, um, I will definitely find a way to talk about it some more. Maybe they can also tell us that it's okay to send some of the human stuff to the adopters. Somebody suggested that yesterday. So, yeah, if you do send something for us, you know, use... You guys decide what we have to do with it. That's up to you, and that's also fine, too. If it's tough for us to give to the adopters, then, yeah, we can't complain about that. So, first off, right here on top of the package from uh, um, Fiddle's Adopters, yeah, J. Lou, uh, is a local newspaper. It is The Bee. It is Amherst's free newspaper, and it happens to be the newspaper from Wednesday, November 8th which is a day that is a famous uh, day, a date that everybody knows very well. Uh, that's my birthday. So I will be excited to read this and find out what was going on in Amherst on my birthday. Wait, Amherst? Yes, Amherst. Okay. Now, if we dig in a little bit further... Oh, oh, oh. J. I thought they were from Buffalo. I'm sure Amherst is right nearby. Uh... Wow, this package is full of stuff. Uh, I can just see by just pulling the, the top off here that you've sent way, way too much. And I don't see, I don't see a note. Song and fiddle, song and fiddle, song and fiddle. I see everything says it's from song and fiddle, but I don't see any like written note here. Maybe song and fiddle couldn't write a note. Maybe they, they could. They don't have songs. It could be, yeah. Well, they managed to write a whole bunch of little tags that say from song and fiddle, though. So they got to go that going for them. We'll see. Maybe if we dig in far enough, we will find um, a note. And if we don't find a note, then we know we can call J. Walter Weatherman to teach you a lesson. Um, oh, yeah. development reference. Oh, no. So many oh, references so today. Many references. Oh, my goodness. So, DJ, you have got a tough job cataloging these. You're going to eat another truffle. Get it in your mouth right away so that we can catalog. You want a hazelnut? Is it hazelnut truffles? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I didn't know they had a hazelnut flavor. How did I not know this? They have every flavor. Oh, so good. Why would you do that to me? Mm. Okay. Wow. All right. Are you ready to catalog? Almost? Loose and barkley. There's a ton of stuff in here. Boots and Barkley, Pounce and Chase, Straw Flingers. I see you want one already. I see you settled down with your mouse. Oh, okay, not quite. Oh, so cute. Here we have, oh, look at this. We have, uh, like, the advanced version of the hair ties that the kittens love to play with because these are hair ties with bonbons on them. We have a gray one and a pink one. And we have, what are you getting into over here, Chestnut? Wow. Chestnut's got a quality test everything. We have a little dinosaur with a feather sticking out of its head, which uh, I'm not an expert on biology, but I'm told that the idea of dinosaurs with feathers may be a little closer to true than uh, the way we normally think of dinosaurs. Well, they were the predecessor of the age, um, yeah, the birds, yes, exactly. Um, here we have the future quiche lets. Oh, yes, is, quiche lets. This is to the, this bad is to the future quiche lets from Song and Fiddle. Quiche lets. I love that, a little quiche lets. So 
this is a bed that's being given to Keisha's kittens right in advance, and it's a beautiful bed. In fact, we've got a bed similar to this kicking around this room somewhere, and it's a great one. Yeah. It was kicking around this room. Where'd it go? Oh, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so it also makes a good cushion for DJ. Now, this box still has so much stuff in it. This might be the last box we have time to go through. What? With an hour left. There's a lot of stuff in here. Maybe the bags are just straight bags for kittens. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, here we have a warm and snuggly, it is a, this is the cutest blanket, this is a blanket that has Aww. unicorn cats that are flying through the air with rainbows, but it's so cute, I don't, can you guys see this, can you see these unicorn cats? It is a throw blanket to Lorraine Aww. from Song and Fiddle. It is beautiful, it's fuzzy, and I love the little unicorn cats. They look so happy, they have little smiley faces and everything. That's so cute. Meanwhile, Chestnut is helping me excavate this box. Here we have a cat tunnel. Oh, nice. This is a, yeah, this looks That's like a, a nice tunnel. it looks like a really nice cat tunnel. Yes, it does. It's a really long one. It is the Comfortable Pet, Pet Beds brand. And it just says Comfortable Pet Cat Tunnel. And there is no label on this one. So it is not specifically for anyone. But I'm getting the, the hint of a theme here. This may be good for Keisha's kids. Yeah. Here we have a box that says it is to the faculty from Song and Fiddle. And the label is put right over where it would open. So I can't tell what's in it without opening it. Here we go. Let's find out. To the faculty from Song and Fiddle, and it is, oh, it looks like it's actually a little bit of something for everybody. Oh Here we have a pineapple for Elsie from Song and Fiddle. Oh, you've got a lot of typing to do. These are each little wrapped individual gifts. For instance, here's one for Eddie that has two treats and two catnip, um, candy canes for Eddie in this little wrapped up package for Eddie. Here's one for Maggie from Song and Fiddle that has, again, Interesting. it has two treats and a mouse wrapped up together. Now you can't help yourself in here. No, go play with your special so Maggie mouse. Maggie is part of the faculty? Uh, that's according to this. Interesting. Here we have one to Custeru that includes a little tiny stocking and some treats. Here we have one for Headmaster Acro that has a little mouse wearing a Christmas hat and some treats. Here we have one for Loganberry Biscuit Bunny Bean from oh. Song and Fiddle, which also includes a stocking and some treats. Here we have one for Smokey that's a little mouse with some treats. And here we have one for Ari that is another little mouse. This one's wearing a scarf with some treats. And I noticed that there is one for Maggie, and there's not one for Fig. So I think this is, there is a point being made here. It's subtle, though. It's a subtle point. I'm not getting it. I think maybe it was just a mistake, and they thought, you know, something interesting. Very interesting. All right, that goes back in the box. It says the faculty. Oh, oh, you're going to growl about this, too, now, huh? Oh, oh, get it. Come on, get it. Grr. Grr. You hear that growling? That's a great cat toy. Wow. Okay, hang on. There's more. We have two sets of ping pong balls. Here we have one. Oh, you got it? You okay? Control Z. Here we have a set of six ping pong balls for the cats. And here we have a set of six ping pong balls for the cats that have poop emojis on them. That's too perfect. I saw my phone was buzzing, but I'm trusting DJ to check if there's anybody saying anything that's important. No, um, just that Maggie is the faculty. Yeah, well, yeah, we heard that. We heard. Uh, okay, what are you guys playing with? We'll pull that out next. They're playing with this, which is a Wonder Shop. Do you want to open the brown package? Okay. Here's a cat wand that they're already playing with. It says, jump cat wand for cats only. I'm 
not sure what they're trying to keep you from using it for there. Oh, warning, keep out of reach of children. Okay, it's for only for cats, not for kids. Don't get it wrong. There's no label on that to say if it's for anybody in particular. Um, but again, I think we can be trusted to use our best judgment. Here we have Blue Brand Kitty Cravings Cat Treats. It's got a ridiculous drawing on the front of a cat farmer holding a chicken under his arm and a pitchfork. And here we have another one that is also Blue Kitty Cravings. This one has a ridiculous... Why are you hissing? She's, she's hissing and growling at the mouse. There's nobody anywhere near her, and she's just mad at that little mouse for existing. <laughs> Um, so here we have one that's got a cat fisherman catching a fish. And here we have another one with a different kind of cat fisherman. This one's a fly fisherman, and he's also catching a fish. And we have another one that is, uh, this one, oh, this is for the fancy cat. This one is a cat that's dining out uh, with a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> that's so pretty cute. It is pretty cute. Okay, I think that's the four of those, and that's all there are of those. That's all, like I'm saying, like maybe there's not enough. Um, so now we have two bags in here, and this one says to DJ. Do you want to open it, DJ? Sure. Okay, here you go. This says to DJ. So pretty, so shiny. And this one says to Mr. A from Song and Fiddle. So I'll I'll take a look at this. Whoa. I have. What is sunburst? I don't know, but I also have sunbursts. Sun they look like candy coated sunflower kernels. What? Candy coated. Chocolatey sunflower kernels. You left out the chocolatey part, which is super important. You cannot leave that out. Uh, but there's more in here. I've never heard of anything like that, by the way. It says it is from Kimmy Candy. Wow, J. Lou, you really did too much. I mean, seriously, too much, though. Oh, this looks epic. Okay, I gotta see this. This is a t-shirt. It is large. Okay. Which is good, because that's about what I fit into these days. It is a cat riding a shark through outer space, and the shark has jet thrusters on the side. That is completely epic. I mean, you cannot get any more epic than a cowboy cat. Oh, not only does the shark have jet thrusters on the side, the cat is, is driving it with uh, motorcycle handlebars. And his hat is flying off. That is an awesome t-shirt. I cannot wait to wear that. Everybody's going to love it. Wow. Completely epic. I think there's some more in here, though. Lots and lots of tissue paper, but there's still something in here with some weight. Look at these stickers. They're so adorable. They're so Oh, cute. they're cute. They're very cute. Okay. But the one is like the all-cat uh, uh, emotions. Right? right? Yeah. yeah. Cat emotions. That's very cool. All right, there's one more thing in here for me. Oh, it's not just one thing though. It is three things. I need you to open these for me. <laughs> I, can't do I love it. Okay, so first off, we have uh, um, a couple fridge magnets. This fridge magnet says, "I do what I want," <laughs> which is a great phrase. And it's a cat getting his mug shot. And then here we have a llama wearing glasses that says, Awkward is my specialty. And I can certainly relate to that. And then finally, we have a, a little, um, one of those like floor signs that I can put up to warn people. And it says, Caution, genius at work. Mm -hmm. Which should go very well on my desk. Wow. Uh, J. Lou, thank you so much for those. Those are all great. That t-shirt is great. The signs are wonderful. And I even have a mini fridge in my office now, thanks to someone else. And uh, those little fridge magnets are going to look great on it. So thank you so much. Yeah. Well, we just have an abundance of tissue paper here now. Okay, you want me to open yours? Okay. DJ wants me to open hers and show them to you real quick. So here we have the emoji stickers and uh, some cute little white cat stickers. Uh, we have, DJ also got a set of the Sunbursts chocolate, uh, candy-coated chocolatey sunflower kernels. Very cool. 
I'll tell you, yeah, sunflower like seeds are yummy, but it had, when you get them and they're still in the shell, it's more work to get those sunflower seeds out of the shell than it is ever worth. I don't know how people buy those and just snack on them. Uh, okay, here we have uh, socks that are a cat wearing reindeer antlers. They're very Christmassy with uh, little red and green stripes on the bottom part. Look how cute that is. He's fuzzy, too. Very cute. Sassy? She just looks angry about it. I don't know. Okay, next we have... <laughs> Jay Lou, she said so much stuff. <gasps> it's a Hello Kitty Christmas tree ornament. Aww. Oh, look how cute that is. Wow. Okay, i got to wrap this one back up, though, so it doesn't get broken. And... There's more. There's definitely more. Now we have... Honestly, what are you growling about? That's a mouse. I know, but <laughs> I think the mouse has got the point by now. Oh, here we have a fridge magnet with a cat in a box. It says, if it fits, I sit. And then we have one that has uh, three cats on it. It says, I just want to drink coffee, make stuff, and sleep. These are great. I don't know where you found these, but they're so wonderful. Um, okay, put that in there. Put this in there. Hang on. One more thing. Put this in there. Okay, and these. Pack some of this stuff back up. One more thing in here for DJ. It says... It doesn't say. It makes a weird noise. What is it? Yeah. Oh! It is a, a little Chinese food container. And it says, Lucky Stars Candy, and it has Hello Kitty on the top. And how does this even open, I wonder? It looks like it opens like a, like a paint can almost. Oh, yes, there we go. It does. Oh, and it has a little Lucky Stars Candy in it. This is the cutest little Chinese food container, though. I love it. Okay. And it's got little roses and Hello Kitty on it. And it's really, really, really cute. Adorable. Wow, that's perfect for DJ. Thank you so much for sending this stuff for both of us. But we're not even done yet. There is more in the box. I can't believe this. We have two uh Creatology Backyard Fun Stunt Ribbons. These are clearly not intended to be backyard fun. They are clearly intended to be cat toys. It says it is five feet long ribbon. Wow, that could make some fun videos. Do you, it says like on a wand? Yeah, it's on a wand. Yes, exactly. Wow, I bet that will play. Yeah, that seems really fun. I'm going to have to figure out how to play that. You know what this reminds me of? Reminds me of the, the ribbons on the batons that they sold for uh, little girls when I was a kid. And they had these commercials that were on during my cartoons. You could not get away from these commercials. And they were for Get In Shape Girl was the name of the, uh, the, the brand. Get In Shape Girl. And I, now that I've said that, I can hear their theme song from the commercial in my head still. We're like talking like 40 years later and it's still stuck in my head. I bet if you search for it on YouTube, you can probably find somebody that's uploaded the old commercial to YouTube. It's ridiculous. Uh, so it'll be just like that. Oh, one more thing. Yes, I've been looking at this, so I'm like, I don't have to show you. No, I do have to show you. This is for the kittens in the main room, and it is a log cabin cat scratcher. Also says on the back in very big, important letters, four cats only keep out of the reach of children. A log cabin cat scratcher. Uh, so that's cat scratcher, but it, it looks, oh, I see, it's, it's a scratcher in the bottom of it, but it's kind of a house and that's a scratcher. So cute. And a log cabin. It's very Christmassy. We will get this installed right away because it yeah. is for the kittens in the main room. I think the rest of this is just packing material and, of course, a Gracie. Can I, can you open This? No, let's wait. we got a lot of stuff to go through. We'll get it installed today, though. Now, let's see how much of this I can get back in the box so that we can have room to move on to whatever is next. Wow. That was an epic, epic box. J. Lou, you sent way, way too much. 
I love the little individually wrapped presents for the faculty, though. You did so much for this. Thank you. It's really wonderful, Gaylord. And please squeeze song and fiddle for us. Please do that. So much for everybody. Look at this. And these beds and the blanket all goes in here. Oh. Yeah. DJ forgot how much came out of this. And the pom-pom here, there's another, there's a gray pom-pom somewhere, but this? I guess the cat's already took it away. Yeah, no, not bad. Gray pom-pom! Gray pom-pom! Nice gray pom-pom. And then we just have like a field of tissue paper over here now. It'll be fun to clean up when we're done. And we also have a uh, cashew who's still growling at and playing with that mouse. Cashew, why don't you bring that where people can see it a little better? And Sassy's watching. Yes. Cashy. Cashy. Oh, okay, now it's sassy again. Sorry, Cashew, I just ruined your fun. I just completely ruined Cashew's fun because I'm an evil person. Sorry, Cashew. Okay, so my reason for opening this was to make some room for DJ to catalog things and have some box space. And it seems like that sort of backfired a little bit because there's so much here. Okay, hang on. Close this up. Wow. I, I don't even know what to say, Jaylu. That was, is epic. Completely epic. Oh, here's the great pom-pom. It's being played with by Gracie. Okay, we'll let you hang on to that. Yeah. Great pom-pom playing with a great pom-pom. Who knew? Uh, how am I going to get, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll figure all this out in a minute. Let's start here. Here we have... Oh, I may have accidentally shown some uh, address there. I hope not. There's an uncovered address on the outside of this package, though, so I will hand it off straight to DJ once I remove the contents, which are neatly wrapped. There you go. You should do that with every package anyway, please. It's a little hard to hand it to you when I'm still unloading stuff from the box, though. All right, so what have we got in here? We have, first off, we have a letter that says, okay to read on stream. And then on the back it says, paw print post first class with a little paw print. That's really cute. And I've lost my toolbox underneath all of this paper. Oh, and a budgie. Hey, there's a budgie under here. First we have a letter that says some things, I'm sure. Hang on. Sending Christmas wishes. Whoa. To Mr. A and DJ, just a card to wish you a very happy Christmas and a good new year 2018. Thank you for all you do for the cats and kittens and for humans too. Lots of love from Joanne and Twinkle Kitty, your greatest Scottish fans. P.S. And here's an arrow for DJ. Uh, there's a whole bunch of arrows here, and it says, uh, P.S. Attach your poems I've written for Special Agent Star's kittens, Mocha and Latte. Perhaps you could pass them on. I also wrote a poem for Star, which you read out on the mailbag 26 August with the request to be passed on. Star and her coffee kittens are my all-time Kitten Academy favorites. There's something very, so very special about them, and they have a special place in my heart. Joanne. P.P.S. Local newspaper and close to Mr. A, the Eden Edinburgh Evening News. And then uh, it also has Joanne's address and stuff in here for DJ a second time with an email address, so you can be sure to catalog it properly. So let me hand that over to you. There you go. Now, uh, that poem, by the way, we did pass on to Star's Adopter, although not the original copy that you sent. That's in my office, and I look at it every day. Um, but we made sure that we sent a copy to her electronically because it was easier for us that way. Um, also, I should point out that uh, just this morning, our fan, um, Stockholm Ed, showed us a video that he put together of a whole bunch of past mailbags. He's taken the highlights from a whole bunch of past mailbags. It's a great video. And so we were just watching a whole bunch of Star this morning because she and her family show up in that video. And after we talk to Stockholm Ed, I think that'll probably end up getting published for everybody. 
Anyway, here we go. Let's start with the poem, The Miracle of Mocha. The poem says, Mocha, you are beautiful. Mocha, you are sweet. Mocha, you are the kind of kitty that others like to meet. I see you playing happily with your mom and brother, too. I see you doing bunny kicks. You're spirited through and through. Mocha, you are wonderful. Mocha, you are cute. Mocha, you're the kind of cat perfection does so suit. That's fantastic. Oh, there's one more verse on the back. If only you were nearer, if only you were mine, you'd be a Scottish kitty, and that would be just fine. <laughs> then we have a poem, Lovely Little Latte. Lovely little latte, with your tail so straight and tall, Lovely little latte, your beauty conquers all. Lovely little latte, with your fur so soft and fine. Lovely little latte, you're special, so divine. Lovely little latte, I wish that you were mine. Lovely little latte, you're loved till the end of time. Joanne, those are so sweet. That's really good poetry. I think that uh, Runip's got some competition now. And here we have the Edinburgh, Edinburgh, sorry, Evening News. I assume one of those pronunciations is right and the other is wrong, so just pick whichever you like. <laughs> wow, these guys, their headlines are great um, because here we have uh, my favorite one, <laughs> my favorite headline on the front page. How long does it take the council to change a light bulb to find out see page 15? <laughs> That's a little shade right there on the front page, isn't it? How long does it take the city council to change a light bulb? Answer, four weeks. Street light repairs delayed due to lack of electricians. Wow, and then there's a whole article about it. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Thank you. I'm excited to read through this, Joanne. Thank you so much for sending. Thank you for the wonderful poems. We will make sure that Star's adopter uh, gets those, or at least gets uh, well-made electronic copies of them. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Here we go. I want to, uh... Hey, 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 hey! Oh, come on now, you two. What are you fighting over anyway? There's not even a mouse there. Just a bunch of tissue paper. That's uncalled for. I'm getting a little too excited. Okay. Uh, you already took that package, so here's the rest of it. PJ? Here. All right. Which one did you bring in? This one? Yeah, I can do that next. Sure. Okay. Well, there's nothing on the outside to tell me anything about it. Well, I can tell you who it's from. Who is it from? From Weirgen. From Weirgen? Oh, and the from says... Trout and Garby. Of okay. So it's from Trout and Garby. And Mr. A and DJ. Here we have a letter. Let's see what we got here. You've got some stuff stuck to you there, Sassy. Okay. Happy holidays. Oh, look at that. These are Monatsu's drawings. <gasps> what? Yes. I don't know. Look at that. I recognize them immediately, though. So those are actually drawings of uh, Garby and Trout. Wow, that's so cool. Yes. Oh, this gets even cooler, though, because inside it says, Mr. A, DJ, and all the faculty, happy holidays, love, Kelsey, John, Trout, and Garby. We love you guys. Hope you have an awesome holiday. Love, Kelsey and John. And then it's signed by Trout and oh. Garby. This is the best card. I know, oh, and I, I love the so many beans. And I, yes, there are so many beans. I love the artwork, too. That's fantastic. Oh, Hang on, that I'll hand this so off to special. you. It's super special. Obviously, that's going to go on our card wall. Yeah. And there's something inside, then, that is very wrapped. This is going to take some work to get into. Let's just see what we can do here. I can't believe these garbage. I wonder if they're sending the card out to see that all 
to everybody? People. Maybe. <gasps> what is this? Is this what I think it is? It is what I think it is. What did you think it was? It's a Christmas tree oh, ornament what? of Trout's Paw. Wait. Look at that. It's an actual impression of Trout's Paw. Oh. And this will be really useful, by the way, when we want to steal his identity online, fool the fingerprint scanners, and get into his bank account. Yeah. Because that's how it works. Or his vault. Yes, a heist. There will be a heist. So this must be the same thing, except with Garby. I don't see Garby. Oh, it is with an extra bean on the side. Oh my god. <laughs> this one's Garby. And look at the little extra bean off to the side there. I need it. Oh. So these will obviously real? go right on our Christmas tree. Yes. How is there an extra paw bean? Well, that's so like exactly that. the way his paw beans oh are. God, that's so just how they are. You remember the little oven mid hands like this, right? I can't believe it's exactly right. Oh my god. Those are so cute. That's unbelievable. I'm gonna put them back in the box and hand you the whole thing and put the letter with them and then we can put those on that the tree so today. Cute. Where Jinch, those are incredible. I love it. That is the the card and the ornaments are just the best thing. Well, we miss those little fuzz balls, this and that's like, the sweetest, sweetest thing you I could just, have sent us. This is unbelievable. Yeah. It's like you put a paw and then you're just like, hey, wait. <laughs> I have one more. I have one more bean. One oh. more bean. Thank you so much, Weirgen. That is the sweetest thing, and it is very special. And despite what we were saying about not sending us stuff, let me be clear. If anybody wants to send us stuff that's like that, uh, please do forever. Okay, here we have our weekly mail now from Sarah in Japan, who writes, Kid Academy, dear Mr. A uh, and DJ, Merry Christmas. There's no pages called out in today's letter. Why is that? There's no book in today's package. What? Sarah, I know, but you're still writing to us, so this is good. I automatically wrote Lucy the Cat. Oh, wait, there is. Oh. There is. Oh, there is. Hang on. It's not Lucy the Cat, though. Don't write that. We got something a little different today, so hang on. Hmm. So, first we have a letter. Merry Christmas, Kitten Academy, dear Mr. A and DJ. Merry Christmas. May the Christmas season fill, fill your Kitten Academy with joy, your heart with love, and your life with laughter. I am Handy Cat on your Patreon chat. Thank you so much for all your dedication and hard work and petting Lucy uh, and her friends as well as your adorable kittens. We really appreciate your kindest consideration as always. I love your wonderful chat room too. Still missing Cha Cha, one of Song the Mom Cat's kittens. Hope her kindest foster family can share her recent photos on our Patreon chat when they have time if possible, like Mandolin and Cello's fantastic foster family and Charlie's legendary foster family. Legendary. Hope both you and your adorable kittens will enjoy this cat Christmas card. With all good wishes for Christmas and the new year, kind regards, Pandy Cat. That's from Pandy Cat on the chat. This is a beautiful cat Christmas card. It's got a, a wonderful scene of a Christmas tree with a beautiful church and some snow in the background. And of course a cat who's pawing at one of the ornaments. Mm -hmm. Which is just exactly how it goes. And then it is a pop-up <gasps> card. No way. Oh, with the same oh scene God. on the inside, except in 3D with a little more detail. Yeah, look at that. I love that. And oh, more cats. There's a cat in a present box, and there's a little tiny pony. Really, really adorable. That's a great scene. That will also have to go on our Christmas card wall. But there's more. There's definitely more from you guys. There's also a Merry Christmas Santa on a stick that makes a great little cat toy. On the back it says Christmas stick. I don't know if Christmas sticks are a uh, Japanese thing or if you just sent us a cat toy and that's just the way they decided to label it, but this is going to be an awesome cat toy. And then we have another book from you, but this is a little bit different. Look at that. Wow. Sarah, you have some you must be getting some serious work as a translator of children's books now. This is beautiful, too. I love this. So, let's see what it says. Hang on. It says, Kid Academy, dear Mr. A and DJ, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful time with your adorable kittens, as always. And we appreciate all your dedication and hard work. 
as Lucy the cat promised to bring some of her friends here during the holiday season, here is her first mate, white cat, black cat. We've enjoyed seeing some of Kid Academy's kittens be adopted together, such as Eucalyptus and Elderberry, Crabapple and Larch and Juniper, Zap and Baskerville, and Gary and Winnie. I hope all of them have been getting along great together, like these white cat and black cat. Mm -hmm. In this book, at first, each cat was full of disdain for the other, based on color on mm -hmm. page 14. Uh -oh. oh, these illustrations are so cute. Uh, oh, page 14. I see. You've numbered the pages for me this time because they're not numbered in the book, but you've helpfully put little markers on top. That's so sweet. So this is a great drawing, too, because you can really get the feel of how the black cat and the white cat did not oh, appreciate each other at first. Oh, I love what they're saying. They thought and decided to become the other one. The white cat jumped into a tar pit and turned all black on page 20. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Well, the black cat leapt straight into a pit full of chalk and turned white on page 22. Oh, look at that. However, at the end, they both discovered both are needed and good and went to the beach and splashed along until their fur was washed clean <laughs> on page 28 and realized neither is better than the other on page 30. Aw, with some oh, hugs. So look at that. Please enjoy the beautiful English rhyme as well, though we don't rhyme in Japanese. So that answers one of the questions that I had previously. So you've made them rhyme in your English transition, translation. That's really cute. Hope your adorable kittens are also nice to each other and will meet kindest foster families just like Kitten Academy. Please enjoy my husband, Pandy Cat's Christmas card and stick. And Lucy the Cat is bringing another friend to celebrate Christmas here at Kitten Academy soon. Please take care and have a beautiful week. Sincerely, Sarah. This is great. I love the art style in this book. It is so wonderful. And as with all of the books that Sarah's helped translate, we have the English and the Japanese both on the page. So they make an uh, excellent reference for somebody that's trying to learn both languages, or either language, I should say. It is White Cat, Black Cat by Sigal Adler, translated by Sarah. And uh, here we have the Amazon Japan uh, listing of children's books, the top 100 children's books. The number one children's book is White Cat, Black Cat by Sigal Adler, translated by Sarah. The number two children's book is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Like anybody reads that. Who's ever even heard of this thing? That's just so far beyond. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I was reading the, the, wrong, the wrong list, actually. The number two book behind Sarah's book is uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by some guy named Lewis Carroll. I, that's the, probably even a made-up name. Who's ever, who's ever heard of anything like that? So the number one, ahead of that Lewis Carroll guy, White Cat, Black Cat, translated by our friend Sarah. Uh, that's so wonderful, and we really enjoyed having Pandy Cat on our chat. He's a lot of fun to talk to, so... Uh, thank you so much for sending this stuff. I hope that people um, that are interested in this sort of thing check out your books on Amazon. They're fantastic, and this is great. The ones you've sent us in the past of Lucy are all photography, but this is art, and uh, I love the art style, too. Look at this packed cover with the two cats sitting on a concrete uh, cylinder, and that's the, just the balance between the two of them with the white one and the black one, and they've got uh, exaggeratedly long tails like Yale. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sending these, Sarah. It's just fantastic. Uh, I'm excited to add this to our collection. We're pretty soon we're going to have an entire bookshelf that is just Sarah's books, Sarah's translations on our bookshelf. Uh, DJ doesn't need this from me, so I'm figuring out where to put it. I don't, I'm going to set it right back here next to me, okay? Good. I've got a completely passed out budgie in my lap, by the way. Budgie. You have no idea what's coming. You're getting adopted in about an hour. Oh, so we need to open two things. Well, we, there's, uh, there's the, still a lot of stuff, but we might make it through. What do we have to open? There's some for Budgie. In which one? The one from Maya. I think it's back there. What does it look like? How do I know? 
Here it is. This one's from Maya. Okay. So there's something for Budgie. Also the big one with the brown paper. So this has little stickers all over it that are wonderful stickers. I think you can see. And this one on this side says, I love my cat. And then on the top they've written, Happy Holidays to Candy and everyone at the Fox Lake Post Office and all USPS workers. That's really sweet. And, oh, goodness, I just cut that right through the address. Sorry. Okay, let's turn it this way so at least people won't see it if it flips up. All right, on the top we have a card. Oh, this is pretty. Happy, <laughs> first off, I love this art. This is a really cute drawing of a cat, but it says, Happy Holidays or whatever. Now make yourself useful and feed me. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everyone at Kitten Academy. I'm sending along a few things for everyone. There's something tiny for DJ, along with a nice place to keep her whisker collection. Ooh. She was just adding to that this morning, by the way. I'm happy to fulfill a lifelong wish of yours. Hmm. What? I don't know. Also included are endowment items for all the kittens, a toy for uh, Quiche Pre, and, uh, sorry, Quiche Pie, it says. I completely misread oh, that. Let me start right. over. Uh -huh. Also included are endowment items for all the kittens, a toy for Kishi Pie, and some Kishi gifties. Pie. And some gifties for the faculty. Thank you again for everything you do for the kitties, Maya Bastet. Okay. Thank you so much in advance. I can't wait to see what this mystery is about. DJ's tiny thing and one of her lifelong wishes. Yeah, so I know. It does seem like it would be too much. I don't know what I'm digging for in here, though, so I'm just going to start at the top. Oh, and see. First off, this is all clipped together. Oh, I see. Too Sassy, to Cashew, to Ari, to Budgie, to Chestnut, to Wren, to Finch, and to Fig. So there's one, there's one little thing here for each cat. Um, and it's, it's, all, it's all clipped together. I'm going to leave it, it again, sassy. clipped together. Hang on. Just say individual gifts for every cat. Well, I need to know which cat, so we know how to put the, you know. Okay. All right. Well, this one fell off anyway. So this is, to Sassy, we have a pumpkin spice latte kick bag. To Cashew, we have a pumpkin pie slice catnip toy. To Ari, we have a orange, I'm sorry, a lemon macaroon cookie cat toy. For Ari, you sure? It says for to Ari. Lemon for, what? It's a lemon macaroon, or yellow macaroon. To Budgie, we have a pink macaroon. To Chestnut, we have two pieces of silver vine. Now, I have seen silver vine, uh, like powder, that's really difficult to work with because it's so powdery. But you've actually included two branches of silver vine, the actual thing. I've never seen that before. So I'll be really interested to see how that works out. That's for chestnut. Uh, here we have another two pieces of actual silver vine for wren. And we have two pieces of actual silver vine for finch. And two pieces of actual silver vine for fig. Wow. That is some really great little cats for everybody, and I'm really excited to see how they like the real silver vine. I've, I've never seen it in, in its intact form before. If you've never seen it, here's some for you guys to see through the little window there. It just looks like little sticks to me. But that's supposed to be the really good stuff. Now, there's some more individually wrapped packages here. There's one for Lorraine that is a Starbucks kick bag. And, oh, there's more here that were stuck together. They're coming apart now. Um... There's one for Custard that is another Starbucks kick bag. This one looks like a mocha latte. They're all different things. So there's Custard's little kick bag. Here we have one for Lagouche that is a an egg. Here's one for Maggie that is a pizza. There's one for Eddie that is a blue macaroon. There's one for Smokey that is another Starbucks drink. They're all different Starbucks drinks. Okay, let's see if I can clip these back together successfully the way they were. 
These are so cute in their little individual bags, all labeled. I love it. Again, the, Maggie's was along with the faculty. Huh. I'm just trying to make some point here, but I'm not getting it. I, I just, I don't, get, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Macaron? Macaroon? Macaroon? I don't know. What are they? I don't know what they are either. They're those French. Yeah, they're little French cookies. Yeah, I don't know what they, how do you say it? I'm not going to try. So here we have a sock monkey for Elsie. Oh, a little green sock monkey for Elsie. It's very cute. Does it squeak? No. Oh, there, there is a squeaker. Okay, a little squeaker in the sock monkey for Elsie. Now we have two more bags in here. One is for DJ. And the other one is bigger, and it's for Mr. A. Hmm, I like this. Yes. All right, let's see what they are. Hang on. Maya Bassett confirms that Maggie's was meant to be in the bag. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hang on. I'm going to put this back in the box. I'm going to put these back in the box so I don't lose track of everything. And then we'll get to the people gifts. Okay. I'm going to start with mine because it's a real mystery what DJ's is all about, and I want to save that for the end. And also because, you know, it's mine. So, <gasps> ooh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is too cool. First off, we have an R2-D2 can cooler for my Diet Coke, and it's actually like an aluminum can cooler. So it's got a foam inside and metal on the outside. That's a very fancy can cooler. It is, but it says can cooler, so I'm just going with that. And then, oh my goodness, I wow. must have been talking about this. We have a Star Wars AT-AT with articulated legs, neck, and blasters. Wow, and the hatch opens, and it's die-cast metal. This thing's got some weight wow. to it. I love this. This is, this is so cool. I must have been talking about how I always wanted one when I was a kid, and the neighbor kids had one, and I didn't. Oh, no. I was so jealous. But now I've got Wait, one. You and this one. 40, I know. 40, 40. I, a long time. Let's just say a long time. But I think this is even cooler than the one that they had. Theirs were sorry, kind of sized for like G.I. Joe figures made out of cheap plastic. This is like a really solid die cast metal that I'm, I'm going to love having this now. This is way better. What is it called? I totally went an at at. Just like when Tupper drew all of the, the, the oh, those yeah. pictures, Tupper drew all of us and the cats as ad ads, which yeah. is very creative. And so this is this is that. Hi, Tessie. You still have your mouse. Beautifully, she is. She's still carrying the mouse around the room. She's crazy for that thing. Hasn't given it up yet. Thank you so much. Those are so cool. I really love both of those. I'm excited about it. So now let's see what is the magic thing here for DJ. The magic thing. I don't know. In a box. Inside the box we have. Oh. What? I can't see anything. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's a beautiful box for keeping your whiskers in that has some cats on the front. It's on a it's on like a tile. This is a tile. So it's a ceramic art. And inside. What? Why are you doing that? Inside, there's a tiny little jewelry box. Like it says Julie's Jewelry. Oh, they're so cute. It's little what? kitten earrings. They're little tiny kitten earrings. They're so cute. Can I see? Look see. at how cute they are. Oh, they're beautiful. I know. Those are great. This box is perfect for keeping those whiskers in way better than the box that we're using yeah, right now. I do need a bigger, I mean. Oh, you know. your collection's outgrowing yeah. the current box as well. It's a good size. Oh, 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 thank you so much, Maya Bastet. Or Maya Bastet. Maya. Okay, I just I wanted to make sure I said it wrong at least once. Thank oh, you so much, a, Maya Bastet. That's such a perfect box. It is perfect. Your gifts to us are so perfect. Thank you so much. Wow. This is, this is wonderful. I'm just going to put them unceremoniously back into the box that you, that you sent them in. But believe me, they're coming right back out of there after we're done. Are those pop on the box? Those are little, like little stickers. Stamps. Yeah. Okay, so you've put this here because I need to open this next, I assume? No. Um, we need to open this brown box. I thought it was just like this. 
Then why is this here? Which one? I didn't put anything there. The brown paper wrapped box. I have a budgie. Uh, how am I going to do this? Hang on. I think I can make this work. I think I can make this work. Oh, this is a cool wow. package, too. Oh, it's heavy, though. Oh, and I'm at an awkward angle. Oh, my back still hurts. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, Budgie, why? Okay. Budgie, Budgie, why? This is I all your fault, help Budgie. You, but then I'm just oh, here. Budgie. You're welcome. Oh, <sighs> look out for Grady's okay. tail. I am. Okay, so first off, on this package, I need to show you that we have the word fragile. We have this cute little cat head drawn. And then if you can see it, our address is written on a tag, a drawn, hand-drawn tag with little Christmas trees lined up on the side. How yeah. cute is that? It's super fancy. I just love when it's brown paper. Right? Yeah, I, I, I was thinking that too. For some reason, yeah. just plain brown paper wrapping makes it look classy. Yeah. I don't know, or just classic maybe is the word I'm looking for. So... Let's see. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to cut out the address, and that way I can hand it to DJ and she can use it for her cataloging. Oh, oh no. I accidentally almost revealed some of it because the sticker started falling off. Now I don't have to feel so bad about trying to figure out how to open the rest of this. Okay, here we go. Another box that is just jam packed full of things. I hope you're ready for some epic cataloging there, DJ. Oh, this is so cute though. Okay. Hang on, it starts with a card. It says okay to read. We appreciate that. And the card says Meowy Christmas on the front. And inside it says. Happy Christmas, uh, I'm sorry, it says Meowy Christmas and a Happy Mew Year. And then it's their kittens. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, first off, it's all their cats. It says top is Peanut, Polly, Petey, Lily, and Boo Boo. Bottom, Dean and Sammy. And then on the back, we've got four whiskers. And it says, P.S., a few of the kids wanted to send whiskers Aww. to DJ. So look at that. You've got a starter kit for your yeah. box. We've got black whiskers and white whiskers. Wow. I know. Very cool. I'll hand this off to DJ in just a minute, but there's also a letter here. The letter starts with a beautiful Meowy Christmas with an abstract drawing of a cat. It says Meowy Christmas wearing a little Christmas hat. And it says, Mr. A and DJ, my husband stumbled across Kitten Academy in the spring when the coffees were around and it greatly helped me deal with my depression. Thanks to you, I always have a place to go when I need cheering up. Enclosed, you will find gifts for everyone at the Academy. The treats are for the faculty, and the toys can be distributed between the rooms or set aside to go with the kids to their forever homes. There are also some treats for you and DJ. Hopefully they don't ruin your diet too much. Everything else in the box you and DJ can fight over. Lastly, don't forget to open the wine boxes. There is a handmade surprise inside. Thank you for all that you do and for just being you. Lots of love, Jamie and Pat and all seven of our fur kids also known as Petey's Mama on Discord. Thank you so much, Petey's Mama. I'm going to hand this off to DJ, and we will start to dig into this giant box of tons of stuff. So first off, i got to start with this because it's the closest thing, and it's completely adorable. It is the Sandy Cat family. DJ, take a look at this. Uh, but wait, there's more. We have the Sandy Cat family, and bonus, we have the Sandy Cat baby twins. Look at them. Oh look at this God. one crawling. They're like Yuki and Elderberry. They are like Yuki and Elderberry. We have a little girl and a little boy, the Sandy Cat twins, so that completes the family. That's so cute. It's so cute. Wow. So that's the Sandy Cat family, the whole family. Here we have an absorbent kitchen towel that is a cat drinking from a mug, looking very smug, wearing some glasses and a hat. He's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Here we have another kitchen towel that is a cat, uh, sort of a very artistic looking cat, also looking smug with a hat and a sweater. 
Here we have another kitchen towel. This one with a cat wearing a scarf and uh, looking very happy. Now we have a hat. Oh, I don't know who you sent this hat oh, wow. for. This hat, uh, first off, it has the little pom-pom strings on it. It's got a big pom-pom on top. And then the hat itself is a picture of a cat wearing glasses and its own hat. It's like hat -ception. It's like cats all the way down. It's a little warm in this room already, but I gotta... Oh, it's not a cat. It's cat. It's just a cat. Yeah, I love it, though. This is... Oh, I like this hat. It fits me really well. I think it's my hat. Okay. I'm the one who needs hats oh. anyway. I know. I know. Look at me. I'm so Christmassy oh, now. Cat toy. Okay. We also have some Meowy Christmas socks that have... Hang on. That have a reindeer cat on the, the foot end of it. I think you can see that little reindeer cat on the foot. So cute. It says they're ugly holiday sweater socks, but I don't think they're sufficiently ugly. I think they're adorable. Oh, so much more, DJ. I hope you're ready for some serious typing because we also oh, have... I love, what, I love that. Stickers? No. This. Yeah. yeah <laughs> we're just about ready for some more of it, too, yeah. aren't we? So here we have stickers. First off, we have poop emoji stickers of various sorts. We have cats, all cats wearing glasses for some reason, which I like. Hipster cats. Yes, hipster cats. There you go. They definitely are all hipster cats. Here we have sparkly cats with some accessories, including mice and cat food bowls. And here we have a decorate your own Christmas tree, where they have two Christmas tree stickers and then all the ornaments separately so you can decorate them. That's really cool. All right, but there's so, so much more still in the box. All right, here we have a cool cat ice mold for perfect drinks. It makes ice in the shape of a giant cat head. I like that. That's going to be fun. Here we have poo Pourri Before You Go Toilet Spray. Uh, now, I have, think I've said this before. We have been fans of poo Pourri for years. Uh, literally years. Since somebody got us some and we've used it and it's great. It really I got works. It Did you get it? For Christmas. Like three years ago? years ago? Yeah, a long time ago. So she got us the, the regular scented poo Pourri. It's a ridiculous product name, but it really works. It is a great product, Poopery. I cannot emphasize that enough. But this is a smaller than usual bottle of the Before You Go Merry Spritzmas Peppermint Vanilla and Citrus Flavor. So it's not the usual one. No, but it does smell good. It smells uh, a little bit cleaner even than the regular one. I like it. It smells good. So Poopery, I it's a product I endorse. Yes, I, I, I do endorse the product personally. And this is a, a flavor, I don't know, using the word flavor there is wrong, a scent that we've not had before, uh, so I'm excited about that. Why did you do that? <laughs> Here, we have, Here we have two spring mouses. These look like they're going to be really cute toys with big feathers on the end, an orange one and a black one, spring mouse. I think that's going to be a hit. Hey, look, there's your mouse. Go get your mouse. Now, why is this, it seems to be now, we've suddenly got a theme for today. We have a selfies, cat selfies puzzle for us to put together. Another puzzle. Here's what it looks like completed. Cat selfies. I love those cats, by the way. They all look completely awesome. That's going to be a fun one to put together. Awesome, awesome. Now we've got a collection of cat puzzles. What are you getting into, Sassy? There's something in here Sassy wants, and she's going to get it. Oh, I see. It is a little bag full of cat toys. She's digging into this little bag of cat toys, and the label on it doesn't say who it's for, but it's got a bunch of springs and some wicker balls and some of those little mylar balls, crinkle balls. And I see a couple mice in there. Is the there bag... a tag that fell off? No, there's a tag that's right here. It's blank. Oh, okay. So, a bag of cat toys, though. Here we have Milk Bone brand Farmer's Medley. Clearly, this is for Elsie. Elsie is a fan of the milk bone, but this looks like a very fancy milk bone. I've not seen that before. Farmer's Medley. That looks great. I'm sure Elsie will like it. I know Elsie's a fan of milk bone, by the way, because the FedEx guy always leaves one for her on top of the packages at the front door. He's a big fan of hers. Uh, here we have hearts just for cats. Uh, little spherical mice with bells and rattles. Here we 
we have 20 large ornament hooks. That's a bit of a mystery at this point, but maybe the mystery will resolve itself as we go through. Here we have Temptations Jumbo. I, they're making a new size of Temptations Jumbo, which come in tempting tuna, savory salmon, and tasty chicken flavors. And we have each Jumbo. Interesting, the bigger size. Here we have a tin, a tin that says deck the halls and has penguins all over it and contains, oh wow, it smells good. It contains, wow, these smell great. What, did you make these? They're, they're little cookies, but they're cookies that are made out of a uh, pretzel. Each cookie is a round pretzel with a cookie baked in the middle and then a little M&M to top it off. Wow. They smell so good. Oh, you know what they are? I think that the middle part is probably... Let me test this here. Hang on. The middle part is a melted Hershey's Kiss. Mm. So it's a Hershey's Kiss wrapped around... A, I mean, wrapped, put in a... Excuse me, a pretzel with an M&M. These are incredible. Wow, give me a second one right now. Want to try one? Mm -mm. Mm. They're so good. Oh and we have an entire ten of those. Uh, I, I say we. We. I mean I. Wow, those are really, really good. What a great idea, too. Mmm. <laughs> It's really good. What can I say? It's really good. Okay. Here we have... <gasps> Why? Why do you do this? Show me what it is. Why? Oh my god, that's so cute. It's shiny. It matches our shirt too. It's shiny. It is a wooden plaque that says life is better with cats and it's got the Kitten Academy logo. It's beautifully painted, and it's all that ready to hang so up on the wall. I love that style. Not only is it ready to hang on the wall, I mean, this is a real professional job. The the lettering and everything is perfect. The paint is great. The colors are fantastic. And the mounting hardware on the back, not only does it have the little place to hang it on a nail, it's got two little bumpers so you don't accidentally ruin your wall. Every detail, perfect. This is so fantastic, and I love that life has got a little heart for the dotted eye. That's beautiful. Wow, I really, really like that. I know it matches the curtains in here, but we've had such a hard time trying to hang anything in here. That, I mean, we never get around to it. That's got to go into my office. I love it. It's going to go in your office? Well, we'll see. All right. There's still so much more to go through here. Oh, there's two more of the spherical mice. So that's a total of four spherical mice that we've encountered now. There is a unicorn poop. This is, this is epic, actually. It is a rainbow unicorn poop emoji. Uh, that's very, very cool. It's got a little unicorn horn. It's got rainbow fur. It's got big feet for some reason. And it is a poop. That's, I really like that a lot. That needs to stay here. We also have, why, how does this operate? Oh, right there, okay. We have, it just says Epic Kitties. That's all it says is Epic Kitties. But it is a cat, also a hipster, also wearing glasses. And it's got a little button that does something. He's dancing, yes. He dances back and forth. That's pretty epic, actually. I have to admit. <laughs> Gracie wants to know what's up with that sassy, too. Well, it said epic, and that is, in fact, epic. I can't argue with the title. That's so cool. Wow. There's so much more still in the box. Here we have two uh, sets of sticky notes that are poop emojis. One is the rainbow poop emoji, and the other is the heart poop emoji. Wow, we are just pooped out now. Uh, and there's still more. 
<gasps> oh, here we have a beautiful Christmas ornament that says, or just a house ornament, I guess. You can put it anywhere. It says meow with a little cat head and some Christmas little motif there. Meow. Not a toy for decorative use only. So if you were thinking of playing with it, forget about it. Forget about it. Okay, now there's still so much more going on in this box. First off, there are five containers of Swiss Miss hot cocoa mix in various flavors. We have a milk chocolate. We have a French vanilla. Uh, we have mint chocolate. Wow. We have caramel cream and dark chocolate. I didn't even know that these came in various flavors. I am really excited to try this out. Now, as promised, there are two wine bottle containers that say Merry Crazy. Christmas. What's Gravy doing? The whole thing. Control Z. No, it doesn't work. Well, then maybe she control Z. Maybe you have to control R. I tried everything. Gravy, how did you do this? Well, there's a... Google keeps a history, doesn't it? Of edits? Oh, my goodness. Handmade. These are epic, and it looks like there's a whole bunch of them. TJ, look. You need to not be distracted by that right now. It's acro. It says acro. It's a Christmas tree ornament that is acro. It's wearing a little hat that says acro that's all decorated. And it's got acro's little smiley face. This is... Oh, and it jingles. And it jingles. And there's, there's, there's more. So I... Wow. I don't even know what to say about this because I, I can wow. imagine that what, what I'm going to encounter from here on out is... Here's Ari. You have completely created our Christmas tree here. This is so... That is amazing. So great. We didn't really get and they're all they different. Did they? What? Oh my god. So now I see why you said the Christmas tree ornament hangers. It all comes together. There's more. There's so many more. I know, this really is too much. Loganberry. Yep. Loganberry it does say Loganberry, and he's distinct, very distinct from the R, um, Acro. Do this? With his little hat, and they're all different hats. This one says Loganberry on it. How did they make all I don't that? know. It's fantastic. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, now, is there one more in here? No. Okay, that's just wrapping. So let me put these back in where they'll be safe for now until we can deploy them. Wow. So now there's a second one. Presumably this is going to contain... Is this a thing or is this just packing? No, it's just packing. Okay, good. This contains... Oh! Oh, wow! So it's Elsie, and not only is it Elsie's cute little dog face, but her hat is made out of material that says... Arf, arf, good dog, wolf, and various other cat, um, dog phrases, cat phrases. It says Elsie on the side of her hat, and she's got big Elsie ears, and she's got little Christmas lights and a, and a doggy bone there. That's so cool. These are all so amazingly thoughtful and beautiful. Handmade. Wow. Wow. Oh, here's Smokey with her little tortoise, torty colors. Smokey, so cute. And she's got a little, like, uh, pearls running around the edge of her hat because she's special. She's a special little mom cat or old lady cat. And then there's more. Oh, these are epic. Wow, this is the coolest thing. I can't believe you made all of these. Oh, this is so cute, this little custard. Look at little custard. Oh, this is so adorable. Wow. This little hat. He's got very custard face. Like, that's so perfect for him. Oh.
completely epic. And his little pink ears and one's folded back because that's just cute. Okay. And I think this is one more. Any guesses who it is? It's Shetty. Shetty. Little Eddie. Look at that. Little Eddie with his little ears all perked up. So cute. Oh my goodness. These are the coolest thing, possibly the coolest thing as a set that anybody has sent us ever in our lives. It's taken together. That is the most epic gift. Wow. I can't even imagine. That's, I don't even know what to say. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Am I, I going to fill all these back in here? I think I am if I'm careful. Okay. I've got to be very careful with those. Wow. That's, this box is in just, uh, I don't, what I, a little speechless. That's so cool. Did you get this log back? No. Well, you can get, what, how much of it did you lose? Let's see. Well, doesn't Google keep histories? Yeah, I checked all that. Well, how could that be gone? I don't know. It's probably pressed escape, and I haven't clicked on it, and it doesn't save while I'm filling out one cell in a spreadsheet. But you lost a lot more than one spell, cell, right? I put everything in one cell. Okay. Oh, so you only it's lost this box. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's nothing. Big box. Yeah, that's a big box, but it's. it's okay, can you just? I just worried that you lost the whole spreadsheet. It's no big deal. Just relax a little bit. It's okay. I am relaxed. All right, you ready to I'm type? Relaxed until you tell me to relax. Oh my goodness, it's time. By the way, we gotta we gotta call this okay. mailbag and get cleaned up. Yeah. So, uh, why don't we I'll clean up? You can take this box and go through it, okay? You still got some boxes from yesterday that you have to go through, too. So, we'll get it all put together. Not that big of a deal. We'll be fine. Oh, this is amazing. And it is, it's noon, so we've got to call this mailbag. I don't know what we're going to do for the remaining two or three boxes that we didn't quite make it to. Maybe we'll just bump those until next week. I'm so sorry if you sent one of them and we're bumping you until next week. But uh, we're expecting some people and some adopters to show up. They could be here any minute now or they might not be here for an hour. But we can't take the chance. we got to go get ready for it. So uh, one more time, thank you so, so much. I love this hat. I'm going to keep this out because I'm going to wear it. Um, this this is the most epic box. All this stuff. How did this? I just wow. I I, just, I can't fit all this stuff back in here. How did you put this in in the first place? How is this even possible? Okay, that can go there. This can go here. Okay, some of this is gonna. Uh, well, we're gonna have to put this someplace safe. Okay, I gotta stand up. This is not gonna be easy. My legs are already complaining. Oh. That's so okay. great. Get you. Silly bean. Okay. Oh, the silly beans. Wow. Ugh. That was just incredible. Okay. I can't believe they did all that. No, that's so cool. Wow, what an epic mailbag. All of it is epic. Everybody has just gone all out. It's, it's all too much. It is all too much. Wow. Okay, so first off, the stuff we didn't get to, I can just put that back in the kitchen so we can get to it. We'll add it to next week. Is it only these three things that we didn't get to? This one's still taped up, so we didn't get to that. Or this, this is a custom box, too, right? No, we did that one. Oh, okay. No, it's just three? No, these three and these two, so that yeah. makes five. Okay, put these back in the kitchen. Hang on. What about that big one? That doesn't look open yet.
we not do this yet either? No. Uh, I guess we didn't. Okay, I'll add that to the things that still have to be open. Where are you going, catch you? trying to pick things up here. It's, uh, where should it go for now? Well, the stuff that hasn't been cataloged yet, I can put in your office, which includes everything in this box because of a little error. I feel like I lost the letter to go to this. Did you get it?
I'm eating a fig bar. It's pretty good. I'm taking this down to my office. They're all things you already cataloged, so they can go down in my office. The stuff that's not cataloged is in your office. Showed me where somebody did. 